All right, I welcome mean, to the show. Here we go. Let's do it. Just calls him like I see him. I do tend to explode only when by myself. It's called play therapy. No medication, no suicide thoughts. That's evil. Being stupid about it is evil. I don't let myself off. I know where the emergency exits are. That right there, that's a passenger running along the tarmac after jumping from the plane to emergency exit. Let's go to John in San Diego. What's going on, John? Can you address the Bohemian Grove? Grove? You start calling me a foreign agent. Those are fucking fighting words. Excuse me. I believe that I am capacitated to sit in the emergency exit row of this What is the job of an emergency? Here we go. Your regular exit might not be the quickest or safest way out. Emergency exit. Hey! This emergency exit is painted on! There's no way out! There's no way out! That's right. Now is the time to open your mind. In our search for the unknown, who knows what we will find? This is Emergency Exit. <laughs> this is episode 62. Today is January 15th. We are broadcasting to you again from our floating tin can. Far above the world. I am your host, Los. With me as always is Nick, the Passion Rider. That's right. That I'm here. is right. Welcome back, Nick. Thanks. And we got Brandon, the Hard Hat Mitchell. I am here. Right here. We are here again, broadcasting our second show of the year. Welcome back, everybody, on Facebook, where we are live. That's right. New and year. And everyone that's new listening year, to new, us. Um, later on down the road. New talent. You know, could no, be the next new year, day. New format new year new something right new, new year new something it sounds more like it but i don't know about new <laughs> format but uh we're just leaving it open new we don't know year, what we're doing yet because we don't get feedback enough and uh that's your job so you guys give us feedback and uh we'll, right. so we'll improve I mean, get, it or keep it as you get it is free show every week and all you got to do is like fucking email or comment on something and yeah. say hey i listen yeah. yeah, or you know, what's your favorite much? segment? Something you hate, right? You know, I'm just feeling kind of lonely. You know, I want these people to say hello. What's up, Los? We're here. Is this thing on? Hello. We had Anybody? a lot of. We have a lot of listeners in San Francisco, um, Canada too. Canada is yeah. right. Uh, oh, maybe so they stopped listening because we were pronouncing their country Canada. He's that got might a point. be a point. He's that got might, a point. It, got a it point is a there. little disrespectful. I can see that. I didn't even think that. about that. Hmm. My goodness. All right. We might not need to <laughs> well, need whiteboard Let's that. rethink that. Let's rethink yeah, yeah, this. Yeah. New Year, new something. And that's going to be what it is right there. No more calling Canada, Canada. See? That's, that's step in the right direction. Again? Yeah, that's right. All right. So today we've got the news. Hard hat has got neighbor beef. Need some advice. Later, we're going to find out how white privileged you really are. Wait, neighbor beef? Like, he robbed his neighbor's deep freeze? You'll see. And stole some beef? Well, I guess you're going to have to wait and find out, Nick Ryder. I... But it's going to definitely be before we find out how white privileged you are. And then, well, actually first. We're doing that first. Let's do, no. Oh. First, we're doing the Brew World Order. Let's do it, guys. <laughs> Remember, remember how much it cost us to hire these string players to record this? Oh, man. It's actually free, by the way. <laughs> that was free. Why you I got a fucking shit all over it like that? God. Yeah, because you shit on me. I shit back. Maybe I shouldn't shit on you. Uh, dude, I told you. How did I shit on you? If that's your thing. How did I shit on you? And cut. Edit point. Edit point. <laughs> I bet everyone's like looking down at their like phone, like, "What the fuck just happened?" What there? the hell? <laughs> <laughs> buffering. Right. Buffering. No, you're not. Uh, what are we at here? We're gonna do we're gonna Uncle. Brew world order. We are doing a Brew World Order. What do we have, Nick Ryder? What do you see there in your hands? Uh, we've got from Uncle Billy's Brewery. We've got the Green Room IPA, and it's got a very, very. Uh, Austin looking dude with a big old beard and some round glasses, a button up shirt and tight jeans with a guitar fucking hanging over his shoulder. 
as the logo on the can here. It's very, very Austin looking. Oh, yeah, man. That's a hipster right there. I wasn't going to use that word in case. Yeah, they're probably but... not. They're definitely not hipsters. But <laughs> a hipster is such a bad word to say about somebody that's like cool when they're in fact like, yeah, you're hip, you know? And that's what hipsters do. They're hip, right? I mean, so, by definition so, of the word, then yeah. It's, why do you got to get all a hipster fucking... is just someone who's with the times. Unless you're watching the show Community, in which the old... Which the nobody is. The, the or old people are called hipsters because they've all had hip replacements. Uh, <laughs> they are. <laughs> <laughs> so I wish I could take credit for that. But Dan Harmon, love. That's right. All right, all right. All right, so um, we're about to crack it open here, everybody. Let's go here. Uh, this is uh, Uncle Billy's Brewery, the Green Room IPA. Cracking it. Let's do it. I actually waited to have a drink this time. Good. I haven't sampled right. our. We're gonna we're gonna toast here. Old order yet? Cheers, fellas. And then we're gonna talk about it a little bit, and we're gonna All give right. you our rating from one to five. That's right. Yeah. Ooh. It's a light hop, not not mm-hmm. crazy like crazy hoppy. Yeah. That's actually almost chuggable. Uh, yeah. Chuggable, a, you could take a big old big old swig and not. Well, you're kinda, so you chuggable. Yeah. Chuggable. Chuggable. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> so, yeah, you got no, it. No, 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 something. I'm going to read what, says, uh, what it says on here, on the can here, real quick. <laughs> so right. it says share one with a local band inspired really? by the live music capital of oh, the world. The Green Room. <laughs> the Green Room IPA is a happy and hoppy beer that strikes all. The right chords. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh. I see what they did there. Oh, yeah. This tasty love brew it. tunes up taste buds. Oh, I love it. Keep going. With some intense grapefruit flavors. Say something about what? keys. Herbalicious aromas sustain the experience, which finishes with a bright citrus notes. <laughs> notes. All right. Keys. Oh, I was laughing at the citrus part. Um, it is 7.11 alcohol, so 7.11. 7, uh, okay. um, and uh, on the bitter scale, it's a 60. On the, is uh, that what that, that number is? The IBM. That's I didn't the, know that. That's the bitter scale. Tell me, do you know anything about that? I don't Tell know too about much that. about it. Maybe we should. Um, uh, maybe on the next one, we should I learn about that. I think that the higher that number is, the more bitter the beer is. So what that is, would is be... it on a 1, one to 100, probably, or 0 to 100? Yes. Okay, maybe we'll um, let's bookmark that and we will come back to it. <laughs> yeah, we'll get I to say that. knowing all sorts of things about yeah. IPA. So if you're listening now and you don't know what the IBU number is, don't don't spoil it. Just wait a week and we will present it to you in exactly seven days. We will be back and we will let you, our listeners, know we'll what the IBU is. We'll finally answer this mystery. Yeah, yeah, we exactly. will find out. And we will Scooby Doo. We will the get to the bottom of, of it. Um, uh, tune in and we will find out. And we're back. Craft enthusiasts enjoy exploring the depths <laughs> yes. of Pints Uncharted. Oh, shit, it's been seven days already. Um, I'm looking this up right now. It's uh, It should be pretty easy to figure out. I well, was hoping it was. I was, I was, I was um, IBU is an abbreviation for the International Bitterness Unit Scale, a okay. gauge of beer's bitterness. Okay. Uh, so we were right about that. Um, it makes sense that the higher the number, the more bitter it is. Right. Yeah. right. Unless your baseline is bitter. Yeah, see, we, and then I have to keep reading on here, and I haven't done any uh, proofreading before. Does that. Google have uh, some sort of conversion where it'll tell you? I don't, I don't know. I know they're converting from what? Their, I, yeah, I, I realize that. Sorry, I, edit point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe if I go with the scale there, uh, let me see. I be scale. I mean, because how it's not that bitter, so I would imagine if this is a sixty and it's one to a hundred, this ain't that bitter. Like, so maybe it's one to. 537 and a quarter. Yeah, I bet it's a really random number with a decimal like Why that. Not? Here, I'm gonna, that's how I'm you make read scales. This here. Uh, I, yeah. The IBU correlates well in most cases with the sensory bitterness of beer, and this is why brewers use it. Almost all the beer you'll ever drink will have a measured IBU between 5, which is very low measured bitterness, up to 120, which is a very high measured bitterness. So this is halfway. Most beer falls in a nar- uh, narrow range within these par- uh, parameters between 18, uh, between fif- uh, 15 and 18, but uh, uh, 80, excuse me, but that's the gist of it. I'm, I'm fucking reading on the flow. Yeah, that's fine. Reading on the flow here, but uh, there you go. So 15 to... Uh, 80 is about okay. what we usually okay. get, so we're halfway in the scale of 120. Yeah. That's not bad. That's that's a comfortable range for me. I like that. That was a long talk on Brew World Order there. Um, so that being said, 
Nick Ryder, what are your thoughts on this and what's your rating? Um, gulp, gulp, gulp. It's it's not bad, not bad, but I don't know that that I would hang out in this green room. Really? Because really? you're not an and IPA guy. In I'm the not first an place, IPA either. guy, and we've had a few that have proved me wrong. Yeah, like the double IPA we had last week. Um, but this one is not proving me wrong. I'm 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 not super impressed. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna I'll give it a straight three, just right down the middle of straight our one to five. Straight three, all just right. Right down the middle. Hard hat. Like what do you strike. think about this, buddy? Man, this is actually very enjoyable. I had never had it, and I'm actually the one who picked this up on the way out. He you is. know, on my way over here. I had never had it. I had never seen it, never heard of it. So why not? You know? I uh, picked it up, and I saw it was an IPA, and I've learned through actually this segment that I, I kind of like the, the lighter IPAs. And, uh, man, this is, this is kind of a hit. I mean, this is a solid four for me. See, now you know to look at that IBU number as well. Yeah. And yeah, yeah we all learned right something about today. Is, uh, is really good for me. We learned something about what the international bitter units are. The and IBU. That, the IBU. And I didn't know. We I've, I've learned been, something. I've learned. I've known about this kind of stuff for years. I didn't ever know what that so actually meant. So does that meant. mean now we can change our, uh, our genre in all the iTunes listings and all that as educational? We can go educational. Yeah. You, you, I think I think learn. there's the minimum. You just have to learn one thing. I think we could have done it either well, way. It doesn't matter. We yeah. we are kind of spreading the word of uh, you know conspiracy theories and whether they're bullshit or not. We don't subscribe to any sort of we we can't we haven't gotten behind any conspiracy that we just present them. But the ones that we have gone behind actually happen. True. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hitler survived World War Two. Exactly. A bunch of people in the South got syphilis from the government. Tuskegee, yes. right there. Yes. See, so um, and you like, know what yeah. they did about it. Nothing. Now ain't that a bitch? That's right. Damn. Call right. back, That's where baby. We got a sound bite. <laughs> uh, yes. That's where we got that ca- that sound bite. I ain't that a bitch? All right. So, uh, Brandon. So you said you had a four. So I'm gonna talk <laughs> yeah. about this a little bit. I yeah, actually, I do, I do like this. Uh, I just have it. shitty taste buds. I was uh, at work today. Did you burn all your taste buds off as a kid in some kind of? S- I don't smelting know. accident, it and that's why you can't taste shit, or what? Uh, yeah, no, I don't know. Smelting, uh, I, I didn't like smelt anything, and I uh, lose my sight, <laughs> my si- uh, sense of smell. But no, not smell or taste. Do you know? Do those correlate into each other? Are those two smell different and taste? Smell yeah. and they, taste are they, very, very, very close yeah, together. Drink that beer and hold your nose, and it'll taste significantly. Like different. if you have a really bad cold and your nose is stuffed up, you can't taste shit. You can't. Yeah, you can't taste anything. I believe smell. They've said is like seventy percent of taste. Mm-hmm. So is that a real? Well, it is a, its own thing on its own, I guess. But either way, like why you smell food and stuff, mm-hmm. or smell wine before you drink it, like you smell things. It's a thing. It's part of the tasting experience. You know, I want to find something that has a really thick bitterness. I want to know what that what that beer is, you want and like I want a to taste it so that I know where to gauge it because I sort of like the bitterness. And this one is sort of... Is, I mean, I'll try it for the sake of the show, but I'm going to fucking hate I it. I first... We should let you still... You should still it take it, It might sit right down there at the bottom with the beer Rito. Yeah, well... Ooh. The beer Rito's zero, man. That... Yeah. God, that... Horse. And you know, I, uh, when I went to Oscar Blue's uh, a brewery... It wasn't... I don't think the brewery, but it was in Dal- uh, Denver. Maybe they do have a, a brewery there. But I was at the tap room, and they had the beer Rito there. And I tried... It's not that bad. I think you drank a bad... Batch, I, whatever it was. A bad was, batch, bad was batch. A bad batch of, of the, the beer burrito. <laughs> bad batch burrito. I mean, I can't imagine that a good batch is much better. Right. It's All right. Still so burrito. let me let me continue on with this real quick, guys. Um, I do dig it. Uh, it's got a little extra hop than I thought originally when I said, "Oh, it didn't have that much hop." I, I'm I'm drinking it more. And, Get in that IBU of 60 or more. Uh, now I'm all sick. Because you can totally call out a 60 IBU. Somebody three minutes ago didn't even but know. But now right, here's, right. A, here's a new <laughs> little thing we such can do. Such a refined palate in uh-huh, such a short uh-huh. time. A new thing we can do is like we can taste it and then we can guess the IBU. Okay. You know? and, so uh, this is our baseline. We and you know it would be great if we guessed the alcohol content, but it's hard to taste alcohol content, right? For, but what the for what? Fuck it. So hey, what do you think the IBU is? And if you get it right, you what? Get another beer? First of like, all, what? I'd be like <laughs> Sylvester Stallone. Thank you for joining us, man. Uh, yo, I don't even drink beer because <laughs> too many carbs in it, you know. And I got when you be- get when you get to be seventy years old, it's really hard to keep your abs in the. <laughs> Dude, you're so good. <laughs> I watched a lot of Stallone movies. I bet you did, man. 
Uh, no, no did. Currently. Still do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Still do. All right, let's... Uh, so I forgive that he's a Republican. I, I'm, I'm about movies. to give my rating here, so, so listen up here. I definitely like this beer, and it's not going to be lower than a four. Um, actually, not lower than a 3.5. Oh, please, think build I, up more. Because I want to... Uh, build up more. Please, please, more build up, more uh, build up. Okay, bottom line... What's he going to rate? What's he going to rate? This is going to be a solid 4.2. That is the Brew World Order. 4.2. That's right. That's still 42. That's the answer to life, universe, and everything. <sighs> Hitchhiker's guy. It's the Brew World Order. <laughs> All right, you guys. Hopefully we have at least one listener who reads Douglas We've Adams. We've got the news. Um, but first, I thought we'd play this um, clip. Um, so I wake up in the morning every morning. Um, I, every I have two morning, alarms that go off Halo at the same time. Bug. Two alarms that go off at the same time. Never yes. mind. I'm not going to question your waking up practices. Well, here it is. I'll tell you what it is. I don't set a bunch of alarms. I set two at the same time, but one is uh, a radio that will stay on. So I have oh, my, to set. Oh. So I have okay. my radio, which is right next to me. It's not any further than my phone would be. It's on the same nightstand. So I have my phone um, set for 6.30, and then I have my cl- uh, alarm clock radio, okay. which is going to play the radio. So Do the, you sync them every night when you get into bed? They don't have to be synced. They're, they're <laughs> go- it's going to fucking be the same or around right. the same. It doesn't matter right. to me, right? It just yeah. has to go on. That's all I care about. So what will happen is that my radio will turn on at 6.30, and then my alarm will go off on my phone, and I'll usually stop my alarm on my phone because it'll just snooze if I keep like t- snoozing in it. And so that's what snooze does. What happens? It's on 101X. Nine okay, uh, it's the alternative radio station here in Austin, mm-hmm. Texas. Oh, it's right. so alternative. Um, the alternative rock station. Uh, Any hue? They do this trivia game where you have to battle against the the guy Jason Dick. His he's, mm-hmm. he's the he's DJ. The host. <laughs> yeah, he's the His host. His name is Jason Dick, and it's also Deb. Uh, what's her name? Deb O'Keefe. Deb O'Keefe. O'Keefe. So is his last name actually Richard? No, no, no. His, 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 all right, so su- super deep knowledge here. All right, I'm a big uh, fan of the By the way, show. yeah. Oh, from the native. The, right, the yeah, hard yeah. hat is a I've fan of the show for a long fan, time. I uh, just listen years. for literally yeah. about 45 minutes every morning mm-hmm. at the same time. Yeah. I, yeah, I'm not going to get into my listening practices, but yeah, his, his actual last name is uh, Alvarez. But, you know, Jason Dick, so radio name. Pick Dick as a stage name. Because I mean, it's not, awesome man? to say Dick on the radio. Yeah, because in that way, hey, he can man. get away with it. <laughs> All right, and he's actually enough. in past reason for that. Okay. <laughs> all right, anyway, all right, all right. Super deep cut there. Good to know. Yeah, so uh, I Maybe called up. Listens. You call up, and they do this trivia game. You answer three questions. Um, and I called a couple times, like, the last week, because I always hear it, and I'm like, oh, man, I could beat this yeah, fucking guy. Yeah. He just fucks around, and it's a good way to win tickets, and they usually give a consolation prize if you lose anyway. Yeah, you get something. And so I, I found out what the number was, and I saved it to my phone. And I called once or twice, and I got a busy signal. Uh, and then, you know, I only try once, and I go, I go on with my, with my day. It doesn't bother me. It's just something <laughs> yeah, I try because, like, I, it's something else that's just easy to do. I can call. I can li- literally grab my phone and just, like, press, press the button, and it'll call. Mm-hmm. And so the other day, I call. Um, I, get a, I, I get a ring in, and then I, right. I, they answer. They say, uh, you want to get on the, you want to play? And I said, sure do. And they asked me what my name was, all this stuff. And uh, let's just go ahead and play this uh, clip. So we pulled it because they have a podcast. And this is Jason and Deb in the morning. And The Morning uh, X. Here we go. Not only am I smarter than you, I'm smarter than every person that you know. My brain is awash with theorems and profundity and abstractions. I'm not an idiot, Woodhouse. Unlike some people around here. I'm a uh, college man. Uh, My favorite cartoon ever. Our contestant is Carlos. His friends call him Los. Los? <laughs> That's right. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> What's up, man? Yeah. Los, used to play basketball at Gregory Gym in the early 2000s. No. That's oh. right. Yeah, there's only one Los in Austin. There was, there was a guy named Los uh, there. He's good. He's good. He's tough on the boards. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to the you should have owned that, man. Team, man. Why not? Do it. Carlos, I can't bring myself to do it. Sorry, I'm going to be like your mother and your teachers at school. Lost, because she doesn't call me lost. Yeah, what a bitch. Yeah, right? Carlos. Is that all right? <laughs> Carlos. I like how you right. fucking Thank get you. that jab in there. All right, yes. Carlos, Carlos. Uh, we've got NBA nicknames. Nice jab. We've got superhero <laughs> alter egos that you would now. know if you watch their yeah, movies. Whatever, and Dude, Earth Sciences trivia. Boom. 
Science. Okay, stop oh, it real man. quick. Okay, so I thought about the the. Yeah, because you did seem like kind of on the. I on thought the about topic. this, and um, you'll see. I don't. I, 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 you got to know who Jason Dick is, like, and I'd only know about forty five minutes uh, every morning at the same time of that same guy, and I've listened to this uh, this segment many times, and he seems to know that kind of stuff of, uh, uh, of superheroes, right? Okay, so you're right? picking it because you didn't want him to... It's a, yeah, it's a strategic So move. go ahead all and right, play all right, it. All right, all right, all right. My yeah. bad, my bad. Science or superheroes. Let's, uh, let's go with science, huh? Okay, okay. Uh, science is trivia. Good one. All right, here we go. Science. All right, here we go. Because it was like a long pause, and I'm like, all right, here we go. primarily... <laughs> Of which two gases? Uh, stop, 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 stop right there. All right, so what uh, What? two main gases consist uh, in uh, on Earth, right? Mm-hmm. What are the two most common gases found on Earth? Um, what, what do you think they are, Nick? That was the question I got. What, did you, what do you think? Um, Come on. Oxygen and... Hi- no, not hydrogen. Oxygen and carbon dioxide. Cause we all fucking, we all release it, so it's got to be really. Common. But plants take it in. What do you? Okay, True. what do you? No, okay, fuck. What do you well, think it right, is? Um, I'm like ninety four percent sure it's um oxygen and nitrogen. Oxygen and nitrogen. And nitrogen. Go ahead and Damn. play it. I don't know if it's right or not. I just pressed uh, the button. Hydrogen and oxygen. He said hydrogen. So and I said oxygen. hydrogen and oxygen. So that's what you just said, right? No, I said, uh, he said oxygen nitrogen. and nitrogen. Oh, okay, go ahead. Yeah. You got one of those right. We were looking for oxygen. Carbon. And nitrogen. Oh, nitrogen. nitrogen. Yeah. There you go. And I said uh, carbon. Carbon. You tried to <laughs> throw it in there. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Because yeah, that's a gas. What is the yeah, primary? Yeah, it's not a gas. Co- Here we go. You ready for the next one? Yeah, I'm ready right. for the next one. And she started. What is the primary cause of Earth's tides changing? Oh yeah. Everybody the tide. What causes the tides to change? Well, uh, uh, he just the, said it, right? Oh, did, did the, I miss it? Moon. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. They're from the moon. Everybody oh, knows that. Well, unless you're a flat earther. <laughs> I know. Hey, go and pause it real quick. Yeah, dude. Here we go. Just, uh, speaking just, of flirthers. Just a quick aside. Yeah, speaking of flirthers. Get on your soapbox, sir. Let's go ahead and talk about this, right? Get up there and go. So today go we, we were supposed to have an interview for the third with, time. A, with a flirther. Well, at least it was going to be the uh, second time. Let's just give him the credit. Uh, it, the second time. Well, true. We the first cancellation was us. Yes. So and that was our fault. So I've been talking to this guy from a flat earth uh, community on Facebook, um, which I always get blocked. People block me all the time because I always say something and they, I contradict that they contradict each other and I always call them out. Anyways, this guy was all interested. He, he, when I argued with him, he didn't fight back. He didn't call me names. He fought, you know, with the civil attitude attitude. And I appreciated that. And then I said, after a while, I said, Hey man, would you care to like come on? And I vetted him a bit, you know. Would you care to come on? I didn't want some guy that was crazy that would call us names and call us a fucking asshole yeah. or something. I want someone that actually had something present an argument that could with present. evidence exactly, yeah. and he had something he could talk about. But uh, okay. cool, cool. So the first couple times we fucked up. That's right. This time he knew he was coming on. So last night around 11 o'clock, I'm already a fa- uh, fast asleep. I get a te- I get a Facebook message. That's how we've been communicating. Okay. It says, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to make it. Uh, I'm canceling, he said. So I left him a message saying, man, you're committed. You should, you should do this. Um, if there's anything I can help you with, let me know like, to get you on. Um, he hasn't hit me up all day. I blocked him now because I've given him enough uh, ch- chances. Because well, last week he canceled too. He canceled last mm-hmm. week. And so. he was always one to say, I will debate anyone on Flat Earth any day. And he also said, quote, well, don't worry day, about then. me making an appointment. I will always show. Uh, he also said that. He goes, I, I've never missed an wow. appointment in my whole life. And he missed this one. Matter of fact, uh, I, uh, that's one of the things I said to him. I guess you're missing this appointment that yeah. you made. We broke that streak. Um, I'm Life. not. Gonna, I'm not gonna say his name, but nah, it, we don't need a, it we rhymes don't need with a... Devin, and that's all you need to know. Okay, that's fair enough. All right, so so heaven. There you go, man. Uh, Blevin. Tevin? I'm sorry. I'm sorry to everyone <laughs> that tuned in just to get a flat earther uh, uh, interview, but that's just what's going to happen. Luckily, we right, got more to this game. We've got the news, and so no, we, got more we still got to finish the game. 
Oh, we're yeah. not done with this. No, oh, no, uh, no, so no, we're no, still no. with me on the third one yet. Yeah, here it's we go. The last, ready? the last question. Go ahead. Scientific name of the Northern Lights. Scientific name of the Northern Lights. Anybody out there? Aurora just, just think about it if you know. It. Oh, good job. Yeah, you, it, it, yeah, you totally got it, man. Um, you'll hear my. You just go ahead and play mine yeah, and yeah. pause it right after this that. This is a gold mine. Uh, that's uh, okay. Ori, uh, the Boris Orialis, Orialis, uh, Ariolus Borealis. I was about to like say, that. what's your... <laughs> Ariolus Borealis. I need to actually Boris pull Arialis. that. That's that's yeah, what that's I should good. pull. That's that the clip I should pull. That's going on Boris Orialis. Oh, my God. Ariolus, that is so... Ariolus Borealis. Oh, oh I sh- we should have we should have totally pulled that. Instead, I pulled this from this because uh, it sounds funny. Our contestant go. is yeah. Carlos. His friends call him Los. Los? <laughs> That's right. Fucking Forrest and, Gump and, saying that's yeah. right. Forrest Gump. And how yeah, often do you get a do you get a radio DJ? You know, saying your name. Yeah, you know, yeah. and I've been meaning to do this right. because there's been a couple times I've been on uh, local something, you know, and I should pull that. You know, I've been of course on you it, should. I've been on You're Infowars. Just a local whore. I've been on Infowars more than a couple times, and they've said my name up more than a couple times. They've said the podcast name more than a couple times oh, yeah. on yeah, their show, have. and we haven't brought any of that. We never pulled any of that stuff, and yeah, when I try to pull it, when I go to it. It's already like gone, like uh, the live stream that was on like months ago. Uh, because we need to be more proactive and get it right away. We play it, we pull it right away. But that's it, man. So, uh, so we you're got, on the radio, man. I was on the radio, man, and I won tickets. By the way, he, uh, um, we're not gonna play the rest of it, but he ends up uh, getting the the moon right, mm-hmm. and he gets uh, his answer for the northern uh, lights was the stars. <laughs> of course, they were. <laughs> um, so what a- Dick. The Northern Lights. Yeah, he didn't get the first one right because I don't think anyone gets that right really uh, that easily. Uh, hydrogen and oxygen are the two most common. No, nitrogen. Brandon got it right. No, I got it wrong. I thought you got it right. I got nitrogen, but it was but it wasn't oxygen, was it? Yeah. Was it oxygen? Oxygen is the, oxygen well, is then the fuck, main gas. Right. Yeah. Well then, fuck. I got it right then. I got it right. <laughs> didn't you say it's nitrogen? Yeah. Nitrogen was the other one. Okay. Yeah, if there were just a little more nitrogen, hydrogen, in our atmosphere. oxygen, uh, hydrogen, and uh, nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen, hydrogen. Yeah, I'm getting confused here. I don't know which well, one's fucking which. Well, it couldn't which. be nitrogen because if nitrogen was like one of the main gases in the atmosphere, we wouldn't be able to breathe. So. Well, no, we breathe in a lot of nitrogen. If they're like most. No, I'm saying if hydrogen was oh, the other main oh, gas, yeah. yeah, we'd be dead. we'd be fucked. We'd be dead. Who? It's uh, uh, definitely oxygen. All right, all right. Fuck, man. This is. I'm too confused. Will you listen back? You call us. You let us know. Let us know. Um, put up o the number. And N. O and N. Go ahead and put up the number uh, for anyone that wants to call us. You guys, our number here is eight three zero. Um, five 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 four 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 four. Go ahead, give us a call. Talk. We'll, call, we'll talk. Give we'll us a call. Coffee, we'll whatever. talk. What's the number? No big war. What's the, the number? The number, uh, the number, if you want to call, is 830-875-0637. Call right. now for your chance to win. There's no winning. Just call in <laughs> no, and give totally us. Win. If you win, you get through. You win? Yeah, that's, you that's, win. that's yeah. your prize. You so, can win uh, a shirt. You can win a shirt. Yes, you will win a shirt if you call and get through. In the meantime. Coach, you're not included Let's in go ahead and yeah, sorry, coach. let's get the news, you guys. <laughs> We've got the news, 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 we've got the after I call into uh, 101X to try to win, um, I look at the news, the local, uh, whatever the news pops up for Google, and I find stories that are great. Um, I find something, and this is I, I compile a list up throughout the week, and that's what I'm going to do. That's what I do for news stories. And now um, it kind of sort of pays off because now I have a bunch if, of stuff that we're going to use. If we have a last-minute opening. We have, yeah, if we have something we, that we're working <laughs> on but we're not quite ready to present it yet, which we have tons of that stuff, mm-hmm. we're, just not, we're not ready to present it. We put it on hold, and we have news shows, and which is why we, you've which heard a lot of these. I'm kidding. Every single show. It's not every single show. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, so let's. Uh, I'm gonna get straight into it. Like Nick. Uh, no, you start. You start. I'm gonna get. I'm. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm starting. But uh, I've there, got so some there's news. this thing that popped up about India Willoughby. Uh, Willow B. By Willoughby doesn't matter. She's Willoughby, a trans. So it's a transgender 
uh, reporter from UK who's on Celebrity Big Brother in the UK. And so they get into this conversation. All the people that are there, um, one notable figure that's there is Genuine. And why is he in? You can ride his pony. Celebrity Big Brother UK. Well, you it's know, it doesn't matter. Okay. You know, right. UK people can be in ours. We can be in theirs. Fair enough, it, you fair know, enough, fair enough. why you have to try to separate? And uh, what are you? Come on, this is Martin Luther King Day. You know, you gotta. <laughs> what are you trying to separate, motherfucker? Because <laughs> he dreams. Okay, I'm getting too far. Yeah, here. stop. Uh, so genuine gets called out. For being kind of a transphobe, uh, transphobe. Um, so here's the clip from Big Brother. You should listen to this. Here we go. where people think there's two options of gay and straight. Yeah, and I think they think, oh, I'm days. having sex with a woman who's what? trans, the world's a buffet. therefore right. I'm gay. Yeah, and I think that's why the these conversations are important. Because yeah, they are I think important. It's a okay, so they make up, uh, she makes a very good point about this. You know, uh, if someone is a, 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 a heterosexual male mm -hmm. that has sex with a transgender woman, mm -hmm. a, ma a male to female, does that make him a gay man? Now... Let's say that person still has a penis mm -hmm. and he has sex with that person who's a trans woman. That's sort of biologically biologically speaking homosexuality. Yes. Yeah. But so this is what the, this is what she's trying to defend there, I guess. That that idea. about fragile masculinity at the end of the day. Yeah. Fragile, fragile masculinity, hmm. which is what it is, sure. which is at what Alex Jones has been fighting for a long time. This is just how like, fragile masculinity. <laughs> how they're talking how, about have balls and be strong and masculine, or man, it's pretty fucking fragile. that they're putting chemicals in the water and to turn turning you, <laughs> turning not, the frogs not gay. just turning you gay, but turning you into women so oh. that you know you have ah, more, Jesus. you have more feelings, and I'm animated. Mm -hmm. that men think that he made, it Sorry takes something away ears. from them yeah. From, yeah. from being with a trans woman and ultimately it's got nothing like it's because they're held to this rigid idea of like i'm heterosexual and if i oh what does that mean i don't know who i am anymore in mm. this world if it's not binary i think what, society men, tells people it's not okay yeah, and that's the thing yeah. And I do, and I do I'll, believe the society the thing, is changing yeah. and and then I, I believe it's your choice too like exactly. I, I would choose not to like Okay, so genuine. That was genuine that just said that. Yeah, genuine right? goes to your choice not too. To. Which it exactly is, he's yes. correct. It's, I mean, I, I can get on. Yeah. Like, I choose not to have sex with dudes. Mm -hmm. Me too. Some dudes. I don't know about Brandon though. Some dudes do. <laughs> I, I, I like to refrain. Okay. Some guys <laughs> no, choose to have to sex with good. guys. Now, I I'm told I'm fine with that. That's not my taste. Like everybody has a taste. I even prefer women, but I wouldn't go for every single woman you know like you have your taste you have what you find appealing what you find attractive you know mm -hmm. just because i'm into women doesn't mean every single woman in the whole world is attractive to me right like that's weird man you, well <laughs> i'm sorry no, but no no no, no. I, I get not you. everybody is attractive to everybody right you, have you know your, your like types, i like to think your... i'm a pretty good looking guy but i'm sure there are heterosexual women that see me and go nah no sure, thanks there sure. seems to be a not type of girl that that digs my look you know, so it, and that's fine. Like everybody has, you can't help what attracts you, what just turns because, you yeah, on. Just because you period. have the parts doesn't mean you're attracted. Right, exactly. Yeah, okay. And Correct. so this, this trans thing to me, I mean, there, there's more to it. So maybe I shouldn't go too deep into it yet until we hear the whole thing. But like, there's definitely a mental aspect behind like, cause this reporter, I know we don't have the video up, but this reporter looks Every bit woman. Like, this is, there's no man here. This doesn't look. I disagree 100%. On I that thought the segment. one sitting, well, the one sitting next to him was a drag queen, so that's obviously a dude and, and stuff. But, like, I could see this being a, just a, a woman. Like, if, if you had not told me that this used to be a man, I would never have known see, this used to be a man. See, there's a difference. See, for me, when I see, there have been some women that are men that I've been fooled before. Oh, um, sure, sure. But in this case, you're not fooled by this. It looks like a man who's turned into a woman. Isn't that the premise of the, the movie, it looks The like Crying a, Game? It looks like a Caitlyn Jenner type. You go, that looks like a man. It's got a strong See, jawline. 
And it's got, you know, it's got resting uh, bitch face, by the way. She, I mean, she she looks like a Stern woman for sure, but I I did not like a Howard Stern. Because when you first said, "Hey, this is about a reporter that is trans," I did not pick that one when I was trying to guess who it was. You thought it was the I thought the, that the one better was a looking woman. one. So you couldn't you couldn't. I pick would not it, have pick, thought pick that, that. No, I could. I would not have thought that she used to be a man. Did you think the one that was? Uh, I didn't go sitting up. She's attractive, but I didn't matter. think. You didn't. Yeah, you just I did didn't not find think her that that used to be a man. I just so. I mean, there there are so many levels to what you find attractive or what you find. That's why I think as much as we push for equality in every single facet of life, porn is still the most racial segregated thing ever. Like you need Japanese porn, Korean porn, there's black porn, there's white porn, there's Asian porn. Like it's so but wait segregated. a minute. Okay, so wait a minute. I, am that, I wrong? If you ever go to a porn site, they've a got second. it divided by every single possible race. Okay, so okay, you call it You say, get Brazilian porn as opposed to just you Latin could, American oh, porn. Hold up. You call it <laughs> Cite your sources, sir. I need to investigate these. I only use Pornhub. I don't know what everybody else uses. You but. You, uh, you you call it because segre- hold up. Sorry. You call it segregated, but isn't it just putting it categorized? Isn't that just what right, that is? But when you're categorizing things by race, that actually is the definition of racism. No, dude, is it? I can. It, it's it's yeah, literally when you're separating ca- things. Separating due things to based the race, on race. That is absolutely the that, definition that of is, racism. All right, calm down. Okay, calm down. Take a breath. Now listen here for a second. I'm not saying it's wrong because you know what? I don't. I click on certain types of porn because I'm here to watch porn and it I want to watch something you. that excites you know and arouses me. Yeah. And only certain things arouse and me. And big black cock is what it does for you. But give me a second here, okay? <laughs> Now, it's not literally racism. I mean, yes, you're talking about the races because that's how it became and that's how, what we're, we're, we're dealing with in this time, uh, day and age. But really, it's, it's just putting it things in categories uh, like fiction, you know, or you've got adult fiction. You've got, you know, this you and don't, that. But you don't have Japanese fiction, black fiction. You do. You have Japanese uh, modern art. You have Japanese this. You have Korean art. Like, you can put the connotation of any race before mm. any sort of art and you'll know it's Mexican art. Mm-hmm. I mean, no, right, no, no, no. Right. I mean, that's he's a got a point. point. That's a fair point. That's yeah, a fair point. Yeah, because I think it just comes so down to... So porn is art. Well, yeah. Yes, well, the course. only difference between <laughs> porn and... Are you joking me? But yeah, you guys know the joke. The only difference between porn and art is a government grant. That's uh, true. That's also true. <laughs> that's also true. <laughs> All right, fair point. Sorry, go on with this interview. All right, here we go. Here, we're going to continue on with this. Like, that doesn't make me like, like uh, but you scared. Would go, you would go uh, out with another woman. Would I go out with you would, another you would, you a would, woman? You would go out a with woman? a woman. Yes, of course. But you wouldn't go out with a transsexual no, woman. No. The the fact genuine here, you know, is happy to go with with women, mm-hmm. but he's but not, not happy. Not every to, woman. Yeah, but no, he's no, happy no, to go exactly. with exactly right there. So, not every woman. Someone jumps in and hey, says, hang "Not on, every coming woman." Coming in, coming in on the uh, the Facebooks. It's not racism until a stigma is attached to it, and probably more thoroughly like a negative stigma. Is it no, there so, is so positive you, racism. So is there po- well, who's positive? Well, all Asians are good at math. Well, who, uh, who's to say? Well, that's a stigma, though. Uh, right. But okay, it's so, still, so it's a okay. positive. I, I, I withtract the negative stigma. Okay, right. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah that makes sense. But it's you're it's correct, uh, whoever wrote in on Facebook. Yeah. You are correct. Yeah. yeah. Who yeah. wrote that? That was uh, Cara Dupree. How oh. about a Dupree? Dupree. Is there, I wonder, I wonder Dupree. if there's a relation to to Jermaine. Anybody? Jermaine Dupree? Jermaine Dupree? Yeah, no. 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 I was going anyway. Cousin Dupree from Steely Dan. Let's go and continue oh, on with this that clip, one, guys. That's... Women, yeah, but he's not it's... happy to go. I, I, I'm, go, 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 go. I'm just saying he wouldn't feel comfortable going with what is termed. Well, or what, he wouldn't be, feel comfortable going with me. What? Mm-hmm. If, if, you if you're in my there. situation and you are trying to date, there is an no, extremely so narrow you're saying, band. You're saying you're and not gay. And from my but you're experience, not I'm not gay. But the, I've, I've tried today, and everything that comes back, you know, guys have chatted me up not knowing my past. But then as soon as they find out, whoa. Today's I'm a what? woman, right? Okay. Forget about any T's or anything in front of it. I'm just a woman, okay? okay. So on that okay. score, you would date me, wouldn't you? Not if you told me you was trans. No, no, I'm not telling you I'm trans. I'm a woman. <laughs> a so woman, you, yeah, a woman. You would woman, me that. woman, woman, yeah. Go on, let's have a kiss. No, no. <laughs> so she tried. He, like, she right. goes, give me a kiss, and he goes, no, no and starts laughing. No, no, no. Now, let me be honest. I'm gonna be stern and fucking honest. Do it, uh, Howard Stern. A person who has a penis, whether you call yourself a woman or not, I will call you a woman if that's what you want to be called. But if you have a penis. You are a you are a male. 
That's it. Uh, and you, uh, uh, that's it. That's my. I'm sorry if that offends anybody, but that's. I will. I will respect your right to call yourself a, a woman. And you will acknowledge that that person as. as and that's such. a person. Right. I will. I will call her. A, 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 you know this and that. But that you are a man for reals. I mean that's what it is. Uh, I'm sorry if that offends anybody, but I respect what you want to do and what you believe in, what you want to be called, and I will. I will go by that. I will ask what your pronoun is, what your preferred pronoun is. You know, but. In reality, what I believe, you're a man, and I'm sorry. That's that's what I have to say. Nick, um, I, I I can I can see both sides because as say this reporter's case, like I want to go out and date, I want to find men, I want someone to be interested in me. But as soon as they find out that I'm trans, they're all disinterested. And who wants to be and with a person that like doesn't want to be with them? I mean, I'm sure there are, I'm sure there are people. There's what rule thirty four? There's something for literally everything, you yep. know. Like it exists, and and I'm I I feel awful that you as now a woman can't just go out and date regularly like women do, because you have this the stigma with you that now it, every guy's gonna freak out. Um, but, I'm here today to remind oh, you sorry, sorry, that sorry, the journey does. What the fuck are you doing? What is this? Edit point. Yeah, no kidding. Sorry, live stream. Sorry, sorry, okay, sorry, so sorry, I, sorry. God damn, that was crazy. Yeah. Sorry I think that, that... I mean, they should have every right to just be a woman. And, I mean, obviously that's... Like, you divulge your past and stuff to, to, to partners. You're sh you should. Right. Uh, and if they don't want to deal with that then bully for you that's you know that's their problem that also means that you are yet again are still lonely and i get that sucks but i mean some people don't like certain things i mean i've i've tried to date someone and they bring up something i'm like ah nope i don't yeah. want to deal with that yeah. and you don't deal with it doesn't and make you a bad person just something you're not maybe, willing maybe to, to deal sometimes with sometimes it can make you shallow sometimes it can make you whatever but i mean I could pretend that I was okay with it and not mm -hmm. be and make both of our lives hell for a long time or whatever. Like I, it right. really, it it's really, really, you're right, man. It really sucks for this reporter who can't even get a date because of who she used to be, not who she is now. And that truly sucks. Mm -hmm. And if I was to meet her on Tinder or, or something or whatever, be set up on a blind date or however it might happen. Right. I can't honestly say that I wouldn't even be freaked out when I knew, you know? Like, like when, I you, when she told you or when if you I found, found out? out? Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I, I imagine that I would kind of be the same as general. Like, no, that's fine. I support you doing that. But just not but I'm me. not into that. I'm yeah. not going to okay, do that. Okay, so, yeah. You, and you made this point when I played this for you earlier to break the uh, fourth wall there. Is that he might have came across it wrong and should have said something to the point like, you know, uh, I would pro probably take a transgender if uh if it if it looked more if she looked more like a woman like but you like yeah please uh, use an actual pronoun not it yeah it, i don't know if that was <laughs> yeah. her preferred pronoun or not so i was just i'm being i'm even being a jerk but um obviously when you look at her uh maybe i'm just a crazy person but genuine wouldn't date that that caliber of woman well, no, you know and, that's and like again, an ugly woman and by all standards that's an not, ugly woman not everybody of whatever gender you find attractive is going to be attractive. Sure. Period. Like, yeah, and that's exactly what I'm trying to say. There is that you're not gonna just because you're a transgender and he's like you're you're the one that's there next to him. Uh, he's doesn't not, necessarily mean he has to be like fuck yeah. And like because you're asking him these questions, he's obviously thinking that this is what you you're you're talking about him or her. Excuse me. And he goes, no, I wouldn't date you. Um, not that you're not good looking or anything it's and, although she did say if i was just a woman he goes yeah yeah but not if you told me you were as a so he did sell himself out on that point to be fair but but still like i mean that's that's a tough one to crack i mean and and someone at the very very beginning of the clip brought up the the uh how sensitive or what was it, the masculine the fragile masculinity. Fragile masculinity. And yeah. I think that's absolutely what it is. That's why a lot of dudes who are like super tough dudes can't be around a gay guy. 
because oh my god, oh boy, and it it's, fucking yeah. insults no their masculinity yeah, somehow. To their I have no problem around gay guys. They no, I don't me. give a I shit. I love hanging around. But those there guys. are some I'm, that are yeah. so macho. Always good times are promised. <laughs> right, but how fucking macho can you actually be if it's that easy to disrupt it? Then you're obviously not that fucking macho. Well, no, because it's all a front. Because right, in, exactly. In, in a in a way, exactly. society kind of makes you know young boys as they grow up kind of put on this this front right uh, yeah you know, absolutely they, but they, when it comes to i'm saying like all right so i mean i was using that as an example so the the masculine vibe that whatever that fucking what it takes to be a man yeah 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 uh is so puffed up bullshit like it it is a giant balloon yes it it gets big but it's that it's easy very, to get yeah, rid of it, yeah, completely. So, the whole idea of masculinity is is false because it's that easy to break. Yeah, that's we're supposed to be tough and rigid, and you should and blah blah blah, and it shouldn't be like bam, yeah, it and shouldn't it's be gone. that fragile. So yeah. that's that's not masculine as we mm-hmm. like to talk about it. Um, but I don't know, like the tra- I, again, that's that's up to each individual. I mean, that was the whole the whole premise of the movie, the Crying Game. Which then was parodied in the first Ace Ventura movie, <laughs> when he found out he kissed a man and like lit his clothes on fire and was like pushing the plunger on his face in the shower. They were even God playing damn. the song. Is that from that movie? The that. song in the background no of idea. Ace Ventura was wow. "I Know What It Is to Play in the Crying Game." It's the fucking song from the movie. Damn. Because that movie was about a guy who dated this woman, even had sex with her, but then found out she was a man. Hmm. Get the fuck and out of here! Is that out. what the Crying Game is about? Yeah. I've never. I've heard about that movie. I've never watched yeah. it. Is that what it's really yeah. about? Yeah, yeah. And he obviously had a fucking meltdown when he found out he's been fucking this dude. <laughs> Your gun's digging into my hip. <laughs> uh, and, and that's what Ace Ventura was parodying. <laughs> so, like, yeah. Now imagine though. I mean, that's funny. But now imagine that you are a trans person and you see that scene, and this is the repulsion that is caused by simply what you are. I mean, that's got to suck too. Yeah, that's got to be. Yeah. So I mean, it's 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 a weird thing, but. Had genuine not made that one statement of "oh, if you're a woman, yeah," then yeah. I think he could have been he could have been good to go. He would have got off scot free. Like, I'm but sorry, I don't that. happen to find you personally attractive. End of story. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean that would have been pretty pretty simple to. to Sadly, of, he went farther. Leave it at that. Now, do, <laughs> do you think there's a certain level of ignorance involved I, with it being? You know, I mean, I don't know anything about genuine, but. I mean, you know, maybe he's a very smart, intelligent person, but do you, do you think there there could be a chance of just pure ignorance? Potentially, I don't. Or maybe he just doesn't know a really PC way to say, "If I know that you used to be a dude, I can't get turned on by that." <laughs> yeah, that's and is that so like? And is I don't that think, so bad. I don't that, think that that's happens. so out of line. I mean, I don't think that's. Yeah, that's I can not see bad. both sides of the argument, and I'm saying me personally, I don't think I could get turned on by that either. Yeah. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with being trans. Guns yeah. digging into my hip. Uh, you can't at shame all. somebody for something that they're no, not into. No, but I'm saying I don't think that I. I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm I, I guess you. I've never met one, but I don't. Uh, let's move on so, to the next anyway, one. Next yeah. story. Uh, uh, let's turn to next. Go, go ahead, bud. All right. So, uh, in a fucking, of course, Russia. Russia. <laughs> Russia is where what the fuck started. Yep. And uh, so to go along the lines of real life taking after video games, I don't know if anybody's played Grand Theft Auto. I've played Grand Theft Auto, yep. Vice um, City's one of my favorite ones. Vice City. So a man in Russia has reportedly rammed a stolen tank into a supermarket before climbing through the rubble to steal a bottle of wine. <laughs> Okay, I have so many questions. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, no, that's it. That's all I got. Moving all right, on. Moving, moving on. on. No. Oh, wow. <laughs> you can't just leave it there. No. Uh, okay, so the armored vehicle was taken from a motorsport training ground nearby. A, now, a, a what? A motorsport? A motorsport training ground. That was one of okay. my questions. Okay. Where did you get the tank? So okay. we got it from a motorsport training Which to me, ground. motorsport is what? Like little race cars? I would think or go-karts like that, or right? something, but apparently Why they there's have a tanks. fucking tank there? Now, when you think motorsports, dirt bikes, the, a like tank derbies is, or something like that, is probably the last on the list if we're talking yeah, motorsports, no right? Yeah, I do no near motorsport. Yeah. But that's Russia. So 
That Soviet. is number one motorsport in Russia. <laughs> in Soviet is Russia, <laughs> Soviet Russia <laughs> sports motor you. Um, so it was at this motorsport training ground nearby before the man drove it through a forest. Through the forest. Yeah, through yeah, a forest. forest. Drive, yeah. And yeah, you know, honestly, that would be a place that I would drive a tank. Just into like a forest, mowing down trees. trees like how it. powerful you are. You're like, yeah. goom, so goom, 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 through goom, a forest goom. into a potati, a town just south of the Arctic Circle. Mm, so he's wow. like way up there. They're getting so sick of that fucking 24 hours. So. Right. Yeah. Struggling to turn around in a narrow street, the man, who witnesses said seemed drunk. <laughs> well, of course, he's Russian. I mean, Come and on. vodka yeah. for yeah. breakfast. We have vodka for breakfast. Uh, that's racist, dude. What, we actually uh, do. Stating, Pers- a, uh, stating the fact is not racist. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Proceeded to slam the tank into the convenience store's window, trying to turn around. <laughs> he also crushed a Daewoo car parked nearby. A Daewoo car? A Daewoo. Yeah. They also make TV. The land version of the seed. No. Uh, oh. <laughs> remember the, the little just... All right. Uh, <laughs> Nobody gives a shit about the day. So the footage shared on social media, because there were obviously people out and about and around, uh, it showed the man subsequently got out of the vehicle through the hatch. Okay. Briefly inspected the damage. <laughs> kind of looked around and be going, holy fuck. At the hell. window he just smashed? Yeah. And went into the shop through the broken, broken window. He was later arrested in possession of a stolen bottle of wine. Red, red wine? But they didn't... They just, for the stolen wine. Yeah, Nothing for the for stolen the wine. Tank. Uh, witnesses visible in the footage did not seem particularly disturbed by the incident. <laughs> Quote, basically some guy stole armored vehicle and went into shop to top up his stocks in the morning. <laughs> no big deal. Says the person filming the scene. The man in his late 20s did not resist arrest. He, had a he good went time. willingly. Yeah. Uh, no, no name for the man. The Russians apparently don't give the names, but uh, yeah. So I mean, a lot of questions. First off, yeah, they got him for the stolen bottle of wine, not the stolen fucking tank. Mm-hmm. The property damage. And how do you just steal a tank? So, Grant, okay, fine, whatever. Russian motorsports keep a tank on hand. Why was it open? Why were the keys fucking in it? Like, how does he get into the tank and start it? How does he know how to drive it? Obviously not very well because he ran over a car and a building, but still, like, what the fuck? You know, I thought I, I thought about this before. Like, how do you start a, a a tank? Is there like a key, or is there just like a press start button? Because you know, uh, like uh, NASCARs, uh, it's just a like sequence st- of switches and buttons. Right? Yeah, you right. just like drop, yeah. drop, drop, drop. Because like, you don't and need they a, have they have a kill switch. You right? don't you don't necessarily need a key mm-hmm. because it's not something that like you're gonna carry around. Right, with I don't think time, you just right? have this little keychain for a fucking tank. I'm sure yeah. there's something different. But I mean, it's easily something that can be lost. So I'm sure he knows the sequence to turn the uh, turn the switch. Right, and he's able yeah, we to start don't have a lot of vehicle. background. Maybe this guy knew about this brand of tank and how to turn it on. But still, why was well, it open? Let's face it, all Russians know how to operate tanks. I think. Oh God, and my statement was racist (laughs) (laughs) Uh, but how did he get into it why was it not locked see now that's probably on someone because they the whoever owns that tank tells their employees you gotta shut that shit off you know or I mean, uh, lock it up because someone will turn it on because it takes switches. I, I guarantee, goddamn, to you that Daewoo he ran over was fucking locked. <laughs> <laughs> the Daewoo. Let's that get that. Let's get that Not number so on the on the on the screen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah somebody yeah, yeah. call in. Talk to us about <coughs> about stealing tanks and yeah, if you have and experience, bottles of wine. Yeah, if you have experience. What's the more serious offense, stealing a tank or a bottle of wine? In Russia, probably probably the wine. Maybe it depends. That's, maybe it depends on the bottle of wine. Maybe it was like a really good fucking year. Oh, true. Maybe it's like a 1994 vintage. <laughs> Sadly, 9450. It could be, yeah. That's that's uh, that's that was the joke. What's your what's your story? What do My you story, man. All right, so I, I think it'd be safe to say we all love pizza, right? Do you like pizza, Los? Does the fucking Tin Man have a sheet metal cock? Hell yeah, that's, I love pizza. That's a hell yeah, uh, Nick. I'm going to just venture a guess that he likes pizza. Here, Most wait, of the quiet. Population. Can you hear him? Can you hear him peeing? I hear a phone. <laughs> Guy sounds like he's a fucking. Oh, that's right. that's the storm coming in, y'all. Oh yeah, here it is. Um, so anyway, yeah, we all like pizza. Uh, what about cruises? Have you ever been on a cruise on a ship? I would love to, but I've never been on a cruise. All right. So and then combine that with some EDM music, some pizza EDM. Yeah, just just nonstop, right? So 
So this uh, Norwegian cruise line uh, left port in, uh, in of all places, Florida. So okay, it started just, in Florida. You pack a Norwegian EDM with lots of pizza with a bunch of Florida men and probably a few women. Um, and they all get to their cabins. And uh, the little note in there reads as following. Due to incidents on previous sailings in which patrons in, engaged in uncouth behavior in the cafe, we feel it is our duty to remind our guests that pizza is for eating. Not fornicating. Oh, <laughs> sexual acts with our handcrafted pizza can bring unintended health consequences and can pose a safety hazard for other passengers aboard our journey. I can't believe. <laughs> so they must have walked in on somebody you can also fucking burn your cock. fucking uh, well, doing an American pie to uh, to the pie pizza to, pie to the pie. Was I mean, it but a deep but dish a, pizza. Well, it would have to be because if it's a thin. You'd have you're to, just, like, fold just, it over, and it'd be, like, um, flashlight style. I was going to say, maybe you're just, but, like, fucking grazing along the toppings. Just, like, first grinding small. on it? Yeah. Like, you know, okay, like, dry well, humping. Why, well, my first question is, why pizza the first food to have sex with? Why not Because it's so a greasy, watermelon? that's like lube. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Watermelon. Pop a nice hole in that puppy. Been no. done. Cantaloupe, unless no. you're Maybe this cruise didn't have watermelon. I'll tell you why yeah. you can't use watermelon. Because once you put your cock in there, it puts a, puts a little stamp in there, and, like... It doesn't have any of this, like, like you got to have some something to wrap around, you, gotta have, you know? You got to have a vacuum. It doesn't wrap around you, you know? What you okay. can do with a, with a slice of pizza is you can wrap that shit around your and, cock and just fuck that slice of pizza. And you can control the, the tension. It can be, like, prom night, or it can be, like, after 40 years of marriage. Uh, there you... You said it correctly right there. So <laughs> you, you fucked the piece of pizza. Now, literally, here's Gre- what I, here's gre- what I, I have to say it's about so this. It's so greasy. It's, that's, that's lube. Well, you... Or, yeah, you can wipe the, the, the grease... That's weird. I mean, it's though. pepperoni, especially. I mean, it's just. I don't know, man. That's really that's really weird, man. Uh, <laughs> crazy. That's just too weird. Oh, that's too far. Yeah. So In this conversation far. that was too far. So while you're fucking this piece of pizza here, um, you, you, you it, who cares? Like, right? They're saying, "Oh, don't fuck the pizza." You're going. Who gives a shit? I will take that piece of pizza and like this. Is what you, this is what they do is like they they see that memo and then they go to the pizza line. They're in the pizza line, right? And he grabs a slice of pizza and he looks don't at the tell guy. Me what not to do. And he looks at the guy. And it's like he goes. He knows this is why we wrote the fucking memo. And he looks at him. He's like, "I'm fucking this slice of pizza. What are you gonna fucking do about it, dude? What are you gonna fucking do about it, right?" I'm they gonna say, take Please. this back to my cabin. Yeah. And I'm gonna stand there staring right out the porthole, and I'm gonna fuck this pizza. And and then the guy's like, "Are you gonna fuck that or eat it?" He goes, "I'm gonna eat it." But you know that guy's going to go put his. He's oh, gonna God. wrap it around his dick. Uh huh. Now, question is: Does he does he wrap it around, starting with the crust, and he wraps the crust around, or does he like start with the tip and then wrap it till the till the crust is out? Oh, I see. Okay. What does he do? I think that's just going to be a personal preference. It's a personal. Well, well, hang on, hang on, hang on. Well, wait, is it stuffed crust? Yes. 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 Oh, boom. And do you fuck the stuffed crust? Of course. And if it was John Holmes, it would be Bigfoot. If anybody remembers Pizza Hut, having big. Nope. All right. Nope. (coughs) Swing and a miss. But anyway, anyway, that news story that uh, that was actually earlier this year. Um, Actually, some some fucking like this guy needs to be put like up up on a pedestal for like all time trolling because it turns out. It was just a hoax. Somebody went through to like every cabin on this cruise ship and put this false false note on with like on legit letterhead from the cruise. Uh, later on, the uh, the Norwegian uh, cruise line uh, released a statement uh, says that any sexual acts with uh, cuisine are not only frowned upon but are prohibited by maritime law. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, but it's lonely out on sea sometimes. Hey, sometimes if you're all in you international got is fish. waters. It don't matter. That was always my uh, my understanding. That is a, no, that's a, that's a, that's, a, that's a, we have a phone call. Uh, someone's coming in, but then they also asked if uh, there's anyone suffering from uh, sido, uh is it is it uh, sidophilia? and uh, that is actually the sexual attraction to food. Oh, okay. Um, but that they would uh, to seek attention on the ship's medical deck. Hey, you're on the air. Oh, Emergency exit. Who am I talking pizza? to? You're talking to Doc. Oh, oh Doc. Doc, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. Your boys are too young that they don't remember the Pizza Hut Bigfoot. Right? No, no, Nick was trying to Nick was trying to to do that. They had to cancel it because it was so long they can only do one at a time and orders were backing up the ovens too much. <laughs> that shit well, was next awesome. Thing you're tell me you don't remember monster trucks. I mean, 
Come right. On, the Pizza Hut, Fucking Pizza Hut Bigfoot. That was the jam. Oh, man, I might remember that. Oh, my that, God, but... like in elementary school, every time somebody had a birthday party, you got the fucking Bigfoot pizza, what? and everybody's fighting for the middle pieces. <laughs> Goddamn right. <laughs> See, Doc knows. All Ooh. right, all right. That was, that was the rich kid in your neighborhood. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, not wrong. he's not wrong on that either, no. <laughs> Doc, have you been keeping up what we're talking about today? Have you been keeping up what we're talking about today? Uh, no, I just tuned in. My so, man. Uh, what are you talking about right now? Just well, random crazy uh, news stories, you know, man. Yeah, we just talked about... A Russian guy stole a tank and drove it into a, a store and then stole a bottle of wine and got in trouble for the stolen <laughs> bottle of wine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair. Yeah. We don't give a shit about I the tank. I from... I heard from the two lesbians who live next door to me that there was a guy hanging out smoking cigarettes in my Jeep on Friday. What? Whoa. They're just sitting in there smoking smokes, huh? Do you leave it on Well, uh, my Jeep has been it's robbed numerous times well, okay, in my but I... gated parking lot. <laughs> gated parking lot, they're yeah, still getting in? just like straight cold lamping. It was just like... <laughs> <laughs> And it was funny because she told me, she was like, you know, um, he, there was this really shady guy wearing a hoodie smoking cigarettes. I was like, that could have been any one of my friends because <laughs> yeah. I had movie night that night. Uh, okay, it totally probably was one of the one of the homeboys sitting in there <laughs> trying to stay away yep, from that cold. Be. Well, we were, you know, well, we were doing, uh, we were doing a, a New York scene. Hey, Doc, we had, let me uh, ask Muppets you. Take Manhattan. Yeah. Oh, you're doing some puppet movies. Oh yeah, he does he does movie nights, man. Hmm. Well, we did Muppets Take Manhattan followed by Escape from New York. Right on. Wow, old Kurt Russell. We got to get we <laughs> we got to hop in on one of those, <laughs> James, right? Was that James Cameron you don't cover one with of the these? Piston, yo. Oh god, Snake Plissken <laughs> will fuck you up. Mm. <laughs> Hey, Doc, so in the news, we're talking about uh, this news clip that came from Big Brother in UK where Genuine was talking to a transgender reporter from the UK and how he said he wouldn't date someone who's a transgender. Would you date a transgender woman is what we're talking about here today. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I certainly hang out with a lot of transgender people. Yeah. Uh, you know, if the parts work, I guess that's okay with me. <laughs> hey, there we go. See, but transgender doesn't necessarily mean um, like. Uh, yes, it does. That's fully transition. Yeah. To be trans, you have to. Are fully you talking transition. full transition, or are you talking? Because um, otherwise, you know, you can be pre-op, but then you're essentially cross-dressing, or. But that's uh, still transgender, I think, though. I thought to be transgender, you had to like actually transition be bona fide woman i know you can you can be trans you can be trans and pre-op or be trans and not so this is okay so we're most i think we're mostly talking about um see i'm with you on the if it, the parts work they work right but let's say it's it's the pre-op version yeah yo you got a mouth <laughs> <laughs> hey you know what a point there you know uh we'll get that thing taken right, care of there's you know? a hole <laughs> you make a great point, man. Why the fuck not, dude? I think we both know I'm you guys have a good night. Anyway. Have a yeah. great right. show. Thanks Thank you very much, in, Doc. Doc. Take care, man. All right, guys. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that was... See, no, that was great because he likes Bigfoot pizza. He likes Muppet movies. He had, we made some fucking Escape from New York movie references. I like Doc. Doc, call in every week, please. Doc, great. Uh, you know, and he he put, call he, in all the time. He does give another perspective to it. It's like you know what? Oh, your mouth works. You know, I go okay. That, you know, that, uh, that's that's fine I, actually. I, I do know a guy. I uh, I have talked about him on the show before. So for now, he shall remain nameless and nameless. Uh, but. He was, not him and nameless. He was cruising around and uh, came across this this lady on a street corner asking if he needed company. He's like, ah, why not? And uh, they did some cocaine back at his apartment. He got a blowy. <laughs> they hung out. It was a great time. And so he found her a few more times. And eventually he's like, why doesn't this ever proceed past the blowjob? Yeah, and then I, she finally was like, 
Well, oh, well, I still you, got a dick, honey. Yeah, you don't want. Yeah, I still got a dick, baby. <laughs> and he's like, wait, I, I, I oh! totally missed all that. <laughs> uh, he's got a buddy who got a blowjob from a person, like and they four kept, times. Yeah, okay. kept going back for the blowjob, and he was wondering, well, what the fuck? Why am I always getting a blowjob? Well, why don't we go to the next thing? Uh huh. I got a dick, baby. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, <laughs> you're caught up right there. Yeah, okay, so there gotcha. it is. Anyway, so, so that's the thing, and I've always said too. Like, I've said this from the beginning. It's like. Y- a man can give a, another man a blowjob probably better than any woman could because they sort of know the business, right? They I can know. Agree with well, that. you know, you like, know the equipment. You know what you would want out of one, but as far as the skill it takes to do that, mm. I don't know. Well, so, okay, so you'd be able to get the the basic concept. You're talking sure. about like straight fu- uh, throat fucking. Like, yeah, that's what he's talking God about. It's like not ev- not every dude can do that. I told yeah. you I couldn't get throat fucked. I'll tell you, you that much. But dude, he's I talking about brushing my teeth. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I need to. Uh, for a long time, I didn't brush my teeth because of because it. Because you gag so bad. Yeah, and I have, uh, I have to fight. Like, but he, but he learned right. the trick of replacing the toothbrush with a penis. And it, no. worked, it worked just and fine. And then all of a sudden, man. Yeah, it was no big deal. All right, let's just move on. Just put some toothpaste on it, and we get right <laughs> in there. <laughs> well, it, it provides its own toothpaste after a little bit. Oh. Uh, all right, you know what? Well. Um, let's, uh, I think we should uh, skip the rest of the news and go okay. into, um, no, let me do this one no, last got, news we story. Got, we got some more news. Oh, wait, There's no hard time limit. I have a hard time limit. Um, let's talk about this news story here, man. This is a good news story here. Um, so a teacher's aide. Teacher's aide. Jailed for having sex with a student. A teacher's aide, but not a teacher. Teacher's aide, teacher, they're the same thing. They have the same authority and you can't, uh, you can't just like have sex, uh, with the teacher. And they're usually generally older. So a (laughs) former Virginia high school sign language interpreter and mother was sentenced to prison on Thursday for having sex with a 15-year-old student in a van specially equipped with a bed, officials said. Uh, Amanda Nasser, who's 32, worked for Luzia County High School and was sentenced to 90 years in prison. Wow. But had all the time except for seven years suspended. <laughs> so she only has a seven year sentence. I know it sounds Wait, confusing. From 90 to shock seven? value. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she was uh, convicted of 18 felony charges of indecent uh, liberties with a minor and computer solicitation with a minor. Um, crazy, right? A woman. Yeah. You don't hear about this much. And this always yeah. reminds me of and- like. You know, you, you it, we frown upon this when it comes to like a man, and let's say it's a man, right, with a with a teenager or something. Mm-hmm. That, that's fucking huge, bad. Yeah. When it happens to a woman, she still gets punished. It's not so bad. <laughs> that always reminds me of this clip from South Park, which I'm gonna about. I'm gonna play right here. This clip okay. is fucking great. Crime anonymously. Oh, what's the crime? Well, I attend South Park Elementary, and one of the teachers is having sex with a student. This is a oh serious god. crime. Oh my god. Tell us more. You, you did the right thing telling the police, Brad. Now, who is the teacher? What's his name? Well, it isn't a guy teacher. It's a woman. A woman? Yeah. She's having sex with a boy. Oh, but, but she's ugly, right? Well, no, not really. It's the kindergarten teacher, Miss Stevenson. The blonde? Yeah. Some young boys having sex with Miss Stevenson? Yes. Nice. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what? No, you don't understand it. You sure they've had sex? Yeah. Has she performed oral sex on him? I think so. Nice. 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 Oh, <laughs> so wait, what, what's the crime? The crime is she isn't doing it with me. <laughs> yeah, he's totally underage. She's taking advantage of him. You're right. We're sorry. This is serious. We need to track this student down and give him his luckiest boy in America medal right away. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm, I'm making a joke of a serious thing here, but honestly... 90 years is what she was up for, and she only got seven. Mm-hmm. But so yeah, it's it, it's a very serious crime. I think it's uh, I I think it's crazy that these the this woman who's also a mother would fuck. Uh, it, it doesn't say who, how old this person well, is, a, but a high school. So I mean, that could be anywhere from what 14 to 18 more. Or yeah, less? yeah, absolutely. 14 to 17. You yeah. know, uh, 17 and three quarters and shit. Fucking who knows? And and the thing that I'm having a hard time getting over is the van with a bed in it. The van, yeah, it was specially equipped with a van with a bed. It's crazy. That's right. No windows and a free candy sign on the bed. <laughs> All right, that's so too obvious. Uh, that that's was... what the fucking ice cream fucking van in my neighborhood is. 
Just a, what it was. It rolls around with music playing, saying free candy and puppies. Well, yeah, I mean, it doesn't necessarily free, say free candy, but it's like windowless, and it was playing the music, which is all out of tune and wonky, like a fucking Stephen King thing. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, it has like the menu on one side and no window. It's like, God damn, it's all rusted. And weak. Oh, like, no, man, that, where I grew up, that, that, was, that was our ice cream man. He, he also, um, yeah, he but also, it, like, I don't know, I've seen weed, him, but I've seen him and they have like the signs all over it and it's yeah. all like bright and cheerful and stuff. And this yeah. is like this weird yellow color and kind of rusty. And I'm just like, man, that, and even the fucking song is all out of tune and warped sounding. Well, of and course, just, because then they have to pay royalties if it's the actual, uh, Beethoven, <laughs> you know, that's what it is. So they Fair. have to pay, you know, for a, a slightly different version of it. And when you were a kid, you just learned to associate that sound with ice cream and it, it's all good. So, but, you know, like I said, mine growing up, that wasn't, you know, the old rust bucket rolling around with three different wheels I don't know, on man. it. That was no big deal. You go get you an ice cream, no, no problem. And if you were, if you wanted, you can also get you a dime bag. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. Well, Beloit, Kansas is a different, different world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously, right? Uh, it's flatter than a pancake, they say. And also, flat mm. earth, man. It is. Than the earth. Sci- scientifically proven. That's right. Mm. Kansas. Uh, so. Let's go ahead. We're skipping the rest of the news. Yeah. I had that. I, I just wanted to play that nice clip. Now we've got something. We want to check your white privilege, Nick. Okay. We want to check it. Okay. Wait, I got a beef. Oh, oh yeah. We let's got to go beef. Your I got beef, beef first. Yeah, let's yeah, yeah. Your I beef that's here. what you were yeah. setting up for. You yeah. know what? Well, yeah. So let me set that up. So yeah. uh, our homeboy, the hard hat here, just moved into a new place, and uh, he's he's finding out what the neighbors are all about and it seems like he's got some beef. So why don't you tell us what's going on, man? I got neighbor beef, man. So check this out. And I, I'm not sure if it's, if it's going to be a dick move on my part by any means, let me know, but I'll give you the background. So Monday at my place in my, my area is trash day. Monday. Trash yeah. day. So Monday morning, early Monday morning, um, usually put the cans out Sunday, Sunday night. And my roommate and I, yes, I have a roommate. Uh, just because cost of living is fucking ridiculous, and I refuse sure, to pay sure. it that much. Uh, but you know, whatever. Different, you know, different argument. Um, so uh, on Mondays, she, you know, when she gets off work, she goes to do like Krav Maga and all that. So she doesn't get back till really late. And on Mondays, hey, guess what? Where am I after work? Right here. That's right. Doing this, so I don't get home till you know a little bit later. So last week, I get home. You know, I guess it was, you know, nine, ten o'clock. That's not really important, but it was it was well after dark. I get home and our trash can, because it was just trash, not trash and recycling, right, um, right. was sitting up by our garage. Not in its usual place, which is around the side of the house. It was just sitting right by the garage. And I saw it when I pulled up and I was like, Why the fuck did my roommate put put that there? Like that's weird, but uh, whatever. Like I just I, I could have moved it. I made a note. I was like, okay, it's not in its right spot. It'll get moved back eventually, but not going to be tonight. Yeah. So, you know, here comes Wednesday, I think, of last week. I finally move it back to where it's, you know, going to just because I was like, yeah, I got a couple 30 seconds or so. I can, you know, on my way in in the door. I don't have anything that pressing. Um, And then later that night, getting to talking with the roommate, I was like, hey, why'd you put the trash can right there? That was was kind of throwing me off there. And she's like, I didn't put that there. I thought you put that there. And so at that just point, like... yeah, well, and I, I had had a background story floating around in my mind, but I would didn't, I didn't want to be that person just jump to conclusions. But at that point, when I realized she didn't move it there, I didn't, I was like this fucking bitch ass neighbor that lives next to me, because let me give you a little background on her. I've never personally met her, but I've seen her. She's, she's an older, older woman who is either retired or social security, whatever, but she's, she's home. All the time. So she she gets bored, I'm sure, and just looks for things to complain about or find herself use for. Just sure, being sure. a busybody is how I would like to just phrase it. Just whatever. So the only logical conclusion in my mind is that she, at some point Monday, while both my roommate and I were at work, moved it back up. But obviously didn't put it back where we normally keep it. Just put it right back by the garage. And I'm sure in her mind, she's like, oh, I'm going to move this up here just because it's the nice neighborly thing to do. And it keeps my property value up. That's probably the biggest argument because she just strikes me as that type of woman. Um, and also just from stories, well, that's kind of judging her. Well, from background information from my roommate, she also will not hesitate to complain if she thinks your grass is getting a little too long. 
So oh, there, there is background fucking. there. And then also several months ago when there was a big storm and also knocked down part of the fence um, of my neighbor or of my roommate's home because it's her home. Um, she was constantly on her and threatening her with the HOA that she's going to have a report if she doesn't, you know, expedite the fixing of this fence, citing literally her property value. So, you know, it's not like she was expecting the, you know, estimator, you know, that week or something, but she's just one of those people. Whatever. Fine. Whatever makes you feel important. But so now just through deductive reasoning, I've come to find out that it had to have been her thinking she's doing a good thing, trying to keep her stuff up. Okay, but so you know, that, was, that was my next thing. Yeah. Like, why do you think that's a bad thing that she moved it up? Yeah. Bottom line, don't touch my fucking trash cans. Like really? that's, that's, a, that's a dick move, right? No. Like when, when we get home, we will move them in. Like we just have jobs and we have things that we do after work, but right. we're, it's not like, like we've never left them out till Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Like we don't s- Exactly. Sit just, there spying on the neighborhood the whole day looking for something to bitch and about. And that's what I'm getting at because she has this history of this. Like, just mind your own goddamn business. Like, I don't want my trash can sitting out there Tuesday when, like, I'm going to pull it up, like, when I get in. You know, I feel your pain. You know? I feel your pain, man. But so, yeah. you need to pick the battles. Like, uh, I mean, she didn't do a bad thing. And what's the big deal that she, she touched did that? a man's trash can? Bro, <laughs> we want to talk about fragile masculinity. Oh, wait, is that a, is that a, is that a, is that a euphemism? Would you, Possibly. you would never you, touch a man's trash would feel, can? Would you feel worse if if it was full of stuff or empty? Which was which it was empty. What do you mean? If she took it out to the curb on Sunday nights? No. If she wants to do that, she's more than fucking welcome. Okay, so like, she, <laughs> you're okay with her taking it out? Yeah. Which you should. Okay, this yeah. is what you should do. You go, hey. Since you're so, uh, since you're so busybody, <laughs> hey, hey, since you're so into taking my trash cans up and putting them back, do me a favor and uh, just take them down too. Yeah. You know, just do them. Take this is your new job. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You want something to do? <laughs> I will capitalize on this. No, see, uh, I was thinking my alternative is um, well because today's a holiday, so I really doubt that the trash is running, so it's going to slide to the next day. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to put it out tonight when I go back. And I've already in agreements with my roommate. Don't touch the trash can. Let me conduct this experiment, this social experiment. <laughs> and if it's back up there, like when I get home or later question. in the night, go for it. Um, is there some? Are you part of an HOA of some sorts? There is a, a very loose HOA in this area. For my roommate, it's it's very very lax. I had this story that I wanted to talk about. Um, I saw that we should totally do about still do that. how they there was this HOA policy where you had to keep your garage open between eight and this time, right? And people did not want that. Yeah, but it was part of the HOA rules. Now they've since suspended it, mm-hmm. but that was that was their rule. Would do you? They have can a, you believe that? Do like, they have a reasoning for that? Um, I would have gotten into the story. We're not going to get okay. into the story uh, because I'm, we're going to skip that today. But man, yeah, you got a oh, dude! I also had stripper ro- robots in the fucking I'd news. Say we had to do it, man. I had a fucking ramping car. I even uh, shared the video on Twitter. Be- yeah, man. To go along with this fucking story ahead. I say we do it. Do it. Well, all right. Go ahead. All right, you want me to finish my beef? All right, so anyway, yeah, yeah. Beef. so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to conduct experiment. my experiment, and if right. it's back up there, like then I will know without a doubt it was her. So I'm, I'm giving her reasonable doubt. Maybe it was a one-off, and that's fine. Man, but, but don't I let don't it think you again. should be upset about her bringing your garbage up. You should be upset with her calling the cops on you for some bullshit reason, but like... Well, she's I haven't like, had that yet. Yeah, but she's just bringing. But your, I do use a lot of power tools on the weekends, does, I mean, and I'm just waiting for what that. Do you she think? just doesn't want the trash cans sitting down on the yeah, street. Do you yes, think, and I will bring them in. I will bring my right. trash cans Whoa. in Hard when hat. when I come back in from my busy day of work because Mondays are very busy for me. I'm usually out the door by seven. I don't get back till nine but, or ten. But really, what is the big deal that she helps put your garbage can up? Don't that's that's my trash cans. Don't yeah, touch but my trash cans. What there's there's some sort okay, of rule I would, that you I have would, to like pull no, them up before would, a certain time. I would be less upset if she put them back where we normally keep them because then I wouldn't have known. I would have just assumed my roommate did it. But no, just Fair. bottom line, I just I feel a part of me feels a little bit violated. And do you know if there's any sort of street sweeping that happens that same day? Uh, not that I know of. Well, maybe there's a street sweeping, and she wants to make sure that you're part of the like, dude. You're you're missing out it's, on all sorts of variables. It's, it's you're pretty, looking. It's pretty obvious if 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 street sweepers were present and, and coming and you're through, taking, and you're there's taking no the, sign of you're street taking sweeping. the word of your roommate, who you barely know as well. Let's be honest, right? 
I mean, in the span of times, you're tr- you're correct. And you're trying to you're believing her word, which you don't know if she's a liar or not. You just you just met her, and essentially, in in so many ways, and you're the roommate. You know, she could be this someone who this woman thinks that's uh like a uh, fucky, but so she's far, also a Mormon. There's that. nothing wrong with Mormons. I'm, there ain't nothing wrong with I'm just, them. I'm just throwing more facts out there. Except about for it. what they believe in, they're they're idiots, but they're good people. <laughs> and nonetheless. she's apparently very loose in throwing that. Like apparent, like I've yet to actually formally meet her, but word of mouth is that's usually it's. Hey, I'm so and so, so and so, blah blah blah. I'm also a Mormon, no, and no. and I'm also going to say I'm. Hey, I'm so and so. I'm it's Brandon Hardhat. Wrong with being proud I'm of who you are. I'm also a part time adult film actor. Just you know, Are shock you? value. Holy shit! You're the man with the mole. I mean, I might. He's be. The, he's the mole, dude. <laughs> he's got be. the mole in the base of his cock, dude. He's fucking hung like a horse. I've actually got two moles. Okay, so uh, okay. My bottom line <laughs> he here keeps is him in a cage in his room. Is that she's never like look about your experiences with her right now. Mm-hmm. The only thing that's going on uh, besides the information you received, the information quote unquote that you received, she's taking your trash can up. At least to a point where you don't have to fucking pull it all the way up the driveway, uh, as a good neighbor gesturally kind of yeah, thing. She's Maybe out, man. perhaps you should uh, give her a chance and say like you know uh, give her like talk to her for a moment and see what she's all about for realsies because you can't take someone's word for it. We know that, True. but you gotta because you, I don't have firsthand experience. You gotta do some research on your neighbors, on yeah. your on yourself. You gotta do you gotta do it yourself, <laughs> and that way you can officially know. Do some research. That's right on the on the right. on the flat neighbors. I think that's what you should do, brother. You're looking All for right. advice. I think that's what you should okay. don't don't listen to your your neighbors or your roommates. Listen to your yourself. Okay. Talk to her. At, uh, hook. Uh, reach out as a neighbor. I okay. used to always do that when I lived with other people and that we lived in the house. I reached out to the neighbors because I, I know that I'm going to have a party and we're going to be very disruptive sometimes. And there was a there was a lady that lived behind us that would always call the cops on us. Mm-hmm. And there was nothing she could do about it. She can just call the cops. We're not breaking the law, right? Except for all the people doing drugs inside. Well, you know, but you're not we're not breaking the law, right? They're not. They're not. And the noise mm-hmm. violation. Yeah, th- it's the noise <laughs> that they're worried about. So we turned the thing down, and we always told the other neighbors, "Hey, if we're ever too loud, give us a call. Tell Here's us. our number. Yeah, yeah." And you can do the same thing with this neighbor. Say, "Hey, you know, I just moved in. My name is Brandon. Good to meet you. If I just..." You adult know, film star. I, I'm an adult film star, and if there's ever too loud of noises, if you hear this lady screaming just too loud, you know, do me a favor, you know, give it a couple extra minutes. It'll go away. It's not like I'm going to keep this kind of thing going on. Better yet, it's not like I'm dextering her or anything. Let me know what's going on. You know, yeah. just okay. keep me in the loop. Here's my name. give her your number. That's a good way of mm, going. I don't know. That's 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 moving a little too fast for me. The exchange of numbers. Maybe, maybe she's got a kick or like a snap. You have or something. Do you have a lease? Uh, it's, it's, it's very loose. It's, it's okay. just 30 days notice. So I don't it's know. very open-ended. A- uh, anyways, uh, let's, uh, let's move on here. What do you guys think? Well, so anyway, like, well, I, I haven't finished with my beef. Ahead, so I, yeah, you may convince me. Yeah. Just give her a chance. Cause I was thinking my alternative was since, you know, tonight, you know, there's no trash. <laughs> it's going to slide to tomorrow. I was thinking I might just take a late night stroll tonight and, you know, if I happen across a trash can and I feel that it would be better served in another location than its present place. No, man. No? Be no, you see, then then you're stirring the pot. Yeah, I guess so. But I know you but want vengeance to, feels so good. I know, though, you, I know you want. I, right. I'm the same way, dude. I want yeah, vengeance, it feels but so good. My mom, you got to you got to remember that's someone you're going to be living with or around, and you need to have that harmony, not just her, for you. And yeah. you need that harm. She needs that harmony. You need that harmony. And Don't you shit should, where you sleep. Sure. Nick, what are you I talking do like about? That I was saying. My mom uh, just moved to a new town, uh, retired. Now she part-time drives like the, the public service bus around that town, right? Like the carts equivalent? No, like the, the – yeah. well, yeah, someone has to go to their doctor's appointment. Yeah, or like, yeah whatever. Yeah. So, um, But she has these neighbors on the north side of her house. And uh, – her grandkids, my my nephews, were out playing in the yard, and their ball like bounced over into the neighbor's yard. So one of them ran over to get it, and the lady came out fucking screaming about "Keep your shit off my lawn!" Keep blah blah blah, throwing get a fit about lawn. you damn kids. I was like, okay, sorry, Jesus, but it keeps happening. Like they're fucking kids playing; they're just chasing to get a ball. Like they're coming right back. They're not doing anything in your goddamn lawn. Shut up. 
So mom had the surveyors come out and found out that their backyard fence actually hangs a couple of feet over the property line. Like it's leaning or is it it's no, just like built? No, like it's built okay, okay. over into my mom's property. Oh. So she's like, oh, this is interesting. Mm. And went and got a lawyer and had on the nice fancy letterhead sent, had the lawyer send them a very nice fucking letter about uh, <laughs> since you have been – very concerned about property lines and uh, individual yards, then Miss Janice Schultz is politely asking you to remove your fence from her property. <laughs> and if you have any questions, please do not bother her. Contact us here at such and such law firm. And yeah, like, so there you go. Like, if it comes to a point, Fucking bring lawyers in. That's I mean, but that that's that's like the sweet vengeance. That's fucking lawyered right there. I know, right? But like, in in a good way, because fuck that neighbor. Sorry, yeah, yeah. sorry that this five year old had to go get a ball out of your yard and ran right back. Like, yeah. <laughs> calm the fuck down. But I mean, in the end, though, they corrected something that somebody fucked up somewhere in marking right. and well, in building the fence. I guess obviously the guys building it could didn't they look didn't, at the, or they had they bad survey. information something. But yeah, I mean, at least in the end, it corrected a wrong. So now she's got a little bit more yard, uh, or, or at least some loophole, or some 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 pull. So yeah, so what are you gonna do? You know what? I think you may have convinced me to just kind of let it ride, and just kind of forget about it. Give and, her your number. And, and give it. See, I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna put a firm firm hold on that. I will. I'll give her my email. Have you ever seen Yes give, Man? There you go. Give her an email. Have you ever I, seen Yes Man, where yes. he has to go do the favors? <laughs> For his older neighbor. No. Maybe I Watch need to see that's that. what you gotta do. Okay, is that a documentary? I'll, I'll write that down. <laughs> no. This is a documentary, yes, man. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, you don't know. I what's mean, in a way, it. maybe it's a documentary. It depends on how you look at it. <laughs> All right, so uh, that's the news, you guys. Let's get the news out of here. That's the news. news. No more news. Nick and Lowe's. That's right. All right, so we're gonna do something here. We're gonna take a test. All right. Because yeah. I need to find out how, how white, privileged? white privileged you are, Nick Rader. All why right. me? Why me specifically? We're actually all going to take the test, so yeah, we're okay. going to find out how like, all of us just are going to do. Why me, man? What the fuck did I Because I wanted to point at you. So this fuck is you, a, a list you. based fuck on Peggy. Uh, this is a, a list based on Peggy McIntosh's article on white privilege. So you might be asking yourself, who is Peggy McIntosh? Peggy McIntosh. She's the heir to the computer throne. No, not quite. Um, she is an American feminist, an anti-racism activist, scholar, speaker, and senior research uh, associate. At the oh God, she sounds like she's Wellesley a joy Centers at for Women. She's the founder of the National S E E D, the Seed Project on Inclusive Curriculum, uh, seeking educational equality and diversity. That's what that is. Take a breath there. Yeah, Jesus. She and I Emily fell asleep during that. She and Emily Style co-directed Seed for its first twenty-five years. She has written on curricular revision, feelings of. Of fraudulence and professional development of teachers. Okay, so she's the mm. forefront of why people understand white privilege. And so this is the list on a daily basis as a white person, you yes or no. Okay. These. Okay, so the first one, here we go. Number one, I can, if I wish, uh, uh, this is weird, on a daily basis as a white person, I can, if I wish, Arranged to be in the company of people of my race most of the time. Yes or no? That you can, if you wish, arrange the company of people of my race most of the time. Or, or in the company of my people. That is a definite no for me. No for Brandon. You can't arrange to be in the company of people of your race? Native American? <laughs> it's like got you on that one. All right, what about you? I, mean, I can, I, I, I definitely, yes, can be that. Yeah, I guess, yes, the way the question is worded. Yeah, like, isn't, it, isn't this funny how it's worded, right? Like, <laughs> I don't have to be in the prison, but if... But you can. If, if, if I mean, yeah, if I, if I sort, but I personally, like, if I were to scroll through my phone, be like, well, um, there's my mom. <laughs> uh, if I want to drive four hours to, you know, a the half local brother, reservation. You know, yeah, but no. It, All right, number no. two. We got a few of these to go through, okay? Number two, uh, on a daily basis as a white person, if I should need to move, I can pretty sure renting or purchase, uh, purchasing housing in an area 
which I can afford and which I would want to live. If I should need to move, I can be pretty sure renting or pur purchasing housing in an area which I can afford in and which Kinda I want to live. It seems that she's not very good at things because her questions are worded terribly. Mm -hmm. Not to mention there's an equality like, like law that uh, yeah. equal housing lender, you mm -hmm. know, that you will... So I can say easily say if I need to move, I can be pretty sure renting a house in an area which I can afford. So if I want to move, um, I'm pretty sure I can rent, rent a, place a place that I can afford. So the answer is yes. I can rent a place that I can afford. Yeah. I think the answer is yes for everybody. Um, there's no less. there's no race on that one unless you think that... Well, okay, if, if you're just looking at race. So what, they're insi what she's insinuating is that there are lots of... And I, there was this uh, old... Uh, there was this funny ad on the radio where this guy would call up uh, uh, an ad for a place and he'd call up as uh, different races, right? Uh, he'd be like, hey, like like a cowboy, hey, uh, or like a hick, or like a black dude, hey, motherfucker, you know, <laughs> shit like that. And she, oh, the, the place is not available. Or like a Chinese person who couldn't talk English correctly, right? Um, and then it was like, a, this is a Maxwell Stewarton or some shit, like some sort of English name. And I'm looking for a place. She's like, oh, yes, it's available. And that's like a uh, that's what we're that's what this uh, question is kind of insinuating that okay. that there's people that will, you know, answer the phone and you have a uh, you know you have an accent to your voice and they might say oh that that ad is probably filled you know that's what this mm -hmm. is a uh, so I feel right. that that might not happen to me because of my proper English speaking okay okay number three <laughs> <laughs> I can be pretty sure that my neighbors and such. A location will be neutral or pr uh, pleasant to me. Uh, I, uh, so Brandon just got finished there. talking about that, but we're not yeah. sure if that's not pleasant or not. So you can say she was just helping you. With your she, trash cave, yeah, she, it sounds I mean, to me that she's being pleasant. It's to you. very subjective, though. Uh, well, that's what this is about to see okay. if you're I mean, white privilege. Yes, or not. I'm probably the outcast, the weird one in that. So yes, it's probably yes, it's a nice thing. I'm overreacting, but I don't know, man. But don't. neutral or pleasant, like okay, so. I have some. I used to have neighbors that would like blast their fucking speakers. Okay. And now I don't have those neighbors anymore. Yeah. You know. So, I definitely don't have neighbors like that. Would if you anything, consider I'm that neutral that or pleasant? You know. That's neutral. It's okay. So you expect them, and it's such a late to be neutral and pleasant. That that leaves a lot to. Uh, so I have to say yes again because uh, that's my white privilege. What about you, Nick? You you expect your to be neutral? I uh, yeah, yes. I guess. Uh, yeah, he said we'd say yes, and so would you, Brandon. Yeah, you would. Sure. I mean, he's answering for you at this point. Yeah, I got it's it. only that's question fine. three. He's, already... he's doing me a favor. Well, because you're fucking your trash can. That's I think that's awesome. I can go shopping. Number four, I can go shopping alone most of the time. Pretty well assured that I will not be followed or harassed. This one, I think, really goes to uh, more of women, right? Mm, um, I would imagine being so, followed but or harassed. Even still, I, I could see it crossing over because I, I get she's probably trying to pinpoint it like a bad area of town or something where like anybody would be subjected to being, you know, jacked or something. I don't know. You've got places like, you know, someone could be walking down Hollywood Boulevard and being like, what's up, baby? You know, the cat calling okay. and shit. Um, that could be what's going on. Followed or harassed. That's harassed. Um, I can say, I don't um, know. It depends. Like, I can say yes. Talking about one. white privilege, but if you go into the wrong neighborhood, then you're definitely going to be harassed. Well, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, but I that's why on. you know where those but places are, and you, I mean, I don't have any business. But I tell you what, I like go that. shopping in places that I know that are good areas, and that kind of thing doesn't exist in that. Yeah. That, so, and that has nothing me. to do with Ray. That's just a, I, I don't know. I feel yeah, like I she's very, being very trolling. That, Nick, yes. Yeah. You can I go guess. shopping uh, being assured you're not going to be uh, Googled, yeah. goggled. <laughs> and I know that. Googled? Googled. Uh, Oogled. All right, number five. Right. I can turn on the television or open the front page of the paper and see people of my race wildly represented. Uh, widely represented. Not wildly. Widely. wildly. Uh, Brandon, I know you said no. Race has gone wild. You'll say no for that one. Yeah. Uh, my race of people is definitely, uh, or people of my color, it says. No, uh, no. My, see, people of my race. So my race is Filipino. I don't see very many people. So I can say no. Uh, Nick, what about you? Well, I, I mean, I don't know if they're they're German you just or don't English know, right? or not. Get on that mic but, there. 
Um, we're gonna put... I, I can't say specifically if they're German or English, but so, uh... that's a no because you, you can't be sure. <laughs> you don't know. I can, I, okay. Number yeah. six. I definitely see people of my. We race. gotta get through. I can definitely no. You can put a yes on. There's that. There's 26 of these, so we gotta get through these Cockney. quickly. Oh, okay. All right. So um, uh, here we go. Number six. When I am told about our national heritage or about quote unquote civilization, I am shown that people of my color made it what it is. So people of your color. What? So white people is what they're trying to say. Um, or a black person. So if a black person is reading this saying, uh, what I'm told about national heritage or about our civilization, I am shown that people of my color made it what it is, yes or no. So if I was a black person, I'd say no. If you're, say, a white person, you say yes. Um, would you say an Asian person can say that, yes or no? Because their skin color is technically white. You wouldn't say yellow like a racist motherfucker. <laughs> so... Um, I guess I have to, I, by the way that this question is, is, is questioned and stated, I have to say yes, and all of us would have to say yes, right? Um, you can say you're brown, or I can say I'm brown, I'm not brown. Number seven, here we go. I can be sure that my children will be given curricular materials that testify to the existence of their race. Well, I one, wouldn't want that's my... A, that's a hard no for me. I wouldn't want my children, like, I don't want yeah. material testifying to the race, like... Give them actual material. Well, um, isn't this kind of mean like you're giving them like materials of like family that trees or something? Race. Like that, that's like this is who you come from. Uh huh. Like that. That's fine, right? Don't you think that's fine if uh, if you're giving? What's the point of that? Like, that, we'll be it, given uh, curricular materials that testify to the existence of the race, just to let them. What does that even mean? Curricular materials that testify the existence of the race. What does yeah, that mean? That's teaching white power. Is what that is like? Is that what that's supposed to be? That's so what meaning? it sounds like. Yeah, because like they're teaching. All right, this is the history of our race. This is why we are who we are. And, and like in my my mind, like why do we in 2018 now? Why do we get so hung up on what area of the world? your ancestors came from like that that you know i have a native american heritage but like i appreciate you know everything in the past but like it doesn't define me who i am today and it doesn't affect me today and like it's, it's a personal just, journey if you want to find that out it, it is but what's the point it, it has exactly no, see when you get all has, these people that are like I'm such and such, so that means this. So what Bull does that fucking shit? That doesn't mean a goddamn thing. When you yeah. say like, we're oh, all I'm people, like, we're all human beings, right. first and foremost. But I people am like seem to put race ahead fucking of that. Seventy percent German. I hate sauerkraut. And it's fucking you're disgusting. For the Holocaust. I hate heavy and warm beer. I have absolutely <laughs> no goddamn desire to invade Poland. I don't give a goddamn shit about it. So the fact that I'm mostly German, German history doesn't apply to fuck me at exactly. all. Exactly. So and, yeah. yeah. Now does that mean I'm like, oh fuck no German, or I'm gonna disclaim that I am of German descent? No. But everything that is German doesn't apply. I'm definitely not organized and on top of shit. Like everybody says, Germans are all Einstein, Einstein, Einstein. That is not me. <laughs> Absolutely not. You know, like it doesn't fucking matter. So right. we let, we don't it have seem like these we, are leading we questions. These we, are leading. We don't questions. have to yes. finish this uh, this quiz, but if like you want to look be, this they up, they should be like, yeah, what I'll, is your I'll gut feeling that. when you get pulled over by the police? These are the type of questions she needs to ask. Now let me just make these this, are leading bullshit questions. Let me let's make this clear. This is available on an MIT uh, website. This is because read that last one again, that one we just did about um, a curriculum. I could, can be sure that my children will be given curricular materials that testify to the existence of their race. See, that is at, like you were saying, yes, I, I can go somewhere and be assured that my kids are going to be taught about my race. Like, yeah. Isn't yes, that just a weird question? Like, you really should want to learn about that kind of stuff. You should want, and you should want to make sure your kids, no matter what race they are, get to learn about that. And I guess what she's saying is you can't always. Like, if you're in certain areas and your kid is of a different, different ethnicity, they cannot be assured that they're going to learn about that in school. <laughs> Number nine. You're going to love this I guess. one. So I see that, but God, it's just weird. It's worded so fucking weird. Yeah, they're it's all weird. weird. You're going to like this one. Here, here's number nine. so leading. I can go into a music shop and count on finding the music of my race represented into a supermarket and find the staple foods which fit my, curic uh, my cultural traditions into a hairdresser's shop and find someone who can cut my hair. What the fuck is this? I'm going to read this again. <sighs> I can go into a music shop. I get, the, I get this one. 
and count on finding the music my of my race represented. I can go into a supermarket and find the staple foods uh, which fit my cultural traditions. And I can go into a hairdresser shop and find someone who can cut my hair. That's what they're saying. So these are – all these questions are saying if you're white, you can get that absolutely fucking anywhere. If you're not, you can't. Can you go into any music store and find – Native American recordings. As far in, in my knowledge, in this town, now no. it doesn't but say exactly. my knowledge. Now you're right. You're, you're but mix- you can't. You can't. No, that's what she's the- asking. Because if you say Hold yes, no, no, then no, you're no, white. No. You're right, and that's the point of yeah, white I'm not, privilege. I'm not arguing you. I'm not arguing. But it says I can go into a music shop, not any music shop. Just you know? a random one. So you we put in this any music general. shop. Like we can go to one music shop. Like. That's what you do. It's a special thing. That's how things used to be back in the day. Mm-hmm. There was one shop that did that one thing. Everything. Then you'd go to a different yeah. shop for that. You know. It also says go to a supermarket to find the staple foods that fit your cultural traditions. When I was growing up, my mom used to go to the Filipino store. We used to call it okay, that. but that's the not Filipino a supermarket. Store. Uh, well, that what, was what the, is a supermarket? No. There is supermarket is H E B. Supermarket is like a big grocery store. What is the definition of a supermarket? It has what? More than one kind of market in it? Like it's a big market? Like how does what what is the definition? Because I've been to bigger Asian restaurant uh, uh, supermarkets where it had lots of aisles. It had fucking stores on the inside that sold jewelry and shit, you know? Like I've been to these bigger uh, supermarkets, they exist, you know? Mm-hmm. But what is a supermarket? Something that's just big? Like that can exist anywhere. So Well, because you can have your average grocer, like your that would be more just a market, but you right. append super to it, and then, then it's, yeah, then you get the, the big size box of a store. fucking block. Yeah, that's... But so it does. It does specifically say supermarket, though, right? I mean, yeah. So or go into right. a supermarket and, and find the staple. So when foods. you go when you go into a supermarket, there's always a Hispanic aisle and there's an Asian aisle. Well, there's the you're, ethnic you're, aisle. You're right about that. that. Yes, yeah. there's yeah. An but Asian what and if Mexican. you're Fucking anything else? Yeah, because there's like, still a you lot can't, that's so you not can't included. Fault that because you can't. You that's can't fault bullshit. The business for not carrying something that might be in such a small demand. Yeah, yeah that's exactly what that is. Mm-hmm. It's a, such a small okay. demand. Now, if and you go a specialty but shop, the out point there. of these mm-hmm. questions is: when you're white, you don't have to think about that. And that's the point of these. That's why it's saying here's your white privilege. Because it, how is that privilege, dude? It's it's because. I, as a white guy, if I go to a supermarket, I know that I can find the food that I want. Because you grew up on the Because that's the food white you food. grew up on. Uh, okay, but if you're a smaller minority, you can't guarantee that if you go into a store that you're going to find the shit that you grew up on. But, and that's the point. That's what she's saying. Is Okay, you're, you're right about that. That's but the is point that, of does white that... supremacy. Or not white supremacy. <laughs> Jesus, God. White privilege. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. White privilege. But that's exactly what she's getting at. That's what all these questions are alluding to. This is so easy for me to do all of this. It's assuming if you're white, if this is easy for you, then you're white. And that's, I bet when you get to the end of this, all the people that have a super a high amount of yeses are white. Mm-hmm. And that's what it's pointing out is everybody that can say yes to these is fucking white. And when you get to the end, you're like, holy shit, that's exactly what white privilege is. That is Specifically, it's not like I'm better or I. Why? Blah, how blah, is blah, that? Blah, a, how I'm is that better a, than anybody? It's just things are so much easier to me in ways that I don't even acknowledge. But that's not a simply because I'm white. How is that? A, I, I can sort of see that you say that's a privilege, but it's not a privilege. That's just how it is here. And because people aren't from here, aren't used to it, we call that a privilege to someone that is already used to that kind of thing. Yeah, it's, it's not, not a, privilege a privilege if you don't have a frame of reference. Yeah, it, that's, it's the frame of reference that you're looking at. Like, that's just what, what it is. Why is that even pri- – I guess that's why people say it's privilege because, like, white rich people are like, well, I don't even know what you're talking about. You well, don't it's, know a, it's their privilege. But th- that's why they're throwing this fucking word around, like, privilege. Oh, you're privileged. Like, that's a bad thing. Like, excuse me. When I, I get pulled over, I'm not scared. If I go to the grocery store, I can there find whatever of- I want to eat. Like, there is a lot. There's no reason to be scared if you're not doing anything fucking wrong. Bullshit. Mm. And that is absolutely bullshit. But as a white male. Straight male. Throw that in there, too. White straight male. Allegedly. I wasn't going to say it. (laughs) uh, There is a huge amount of things that don't even occur to me that people have to fucking deal with Every day. Right. And none of it even occurs to me as something that anybody would have to worry about. Mm -hmm. Now, does that make it inconsequential? No. It just means that I am privileged enough to not have to fucking worry about it. They 
have to worry about it. Mm-hmm. But we're in America. Like that's that's what it is for people like us. That's what it is, right? That's that's what white but privilege means. There are means. some there are so many other people that get that same privilege. Like everyone gets I that privilege. Pulled, I got pulled over because I had a light out, okay. and the guy's like, "Cops, like you have a light out." Oh, I had no idea. Thank you, officer. He's like, "Okay, so go get that fixed." You think if I was a minority, oh, yeah. do you think it would have gone that I, smoothly? I get no. ticketed every you know, time that's happened. You, I get a ticket, cannot, and then I have to go to court and show, hey, it's that fixed. Pay the $10 bullshit. court card. Yeah, I, I get as, ticketed every I'm time. I'm as white as you are, dude. I've been pulled over. There's only been one time where I did not get a ticket. I've been pulled over so many times, and I get a ticket every single time. Because why? Because there's something that's going wrong with that the car that I'm in. You know, uh, I have a light out. Um, there was one time where I got where I didn't have my lights on. I just got pulled out of a gas station. I didn't have my, didn't have my lights on. And the cop pulled me over because I didn't have my lights on. He, I was like, oh, I'm sorry. He had checked me out, saw that I was just coming back from work, and I would just stopped for get gas. He asked so you where you were coming from? Yeah. I was that like, is illegal. That doesn't matter. No, that is illegal. It doesn't matter. That is illegal. Okay, it's illegal. For the sake it doesn't of the story, it doesn't okay, matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> He can ask me whatever I want, and it, you don't have to answer I don't have anything to answer. that he You're has right. to say. But well, I you can, chose to. But I chose to, right? And that's what it, that dude. You just have to realize that we. I'm losing my my train of thought here, but essentially, yeah, bigger battles is what I think you're getting at. Yeah, dude. <laughs> what, what the fuck is the big fucking deal? These questions are pointing out that as a white person, there is so much you don't think about, right? But There's that's so not much that saying, doesn't occur to you so because what that's does just it the way it is. But, so what but does it change? Life, what do you want me to do to change that shit? It's not up to you. you just She's just to, trying to bring about awareness because nothing changes okay, you're right. until you have awareness you're right. of it. Yeah. This, this, this test is to show how white privilege you are. That's all it is because it's until make everybody's think, a fucking like, oh, aware, then wait. nothing's going to happen. Yeah. Now, not, this test do, I have, do I have right, white privilege because of my skin color? This is isn't that what saying is? that you specifically are doing anything wrong. No, Rose. you're right. This is just trying I'm to make with you, you aware. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm with you on this. So, so, so stop taking it personally. I'm not, you're not being I'm attacked not, here. I'm not. I'm not taking it as attack. But so I am. Am I white in all senses or what? I mean, someone sees my name. It's Carlos. That's definitely not something that you, someone you think is white, right off the fucking bat, right? No. So, but I've been treated. I can say yes to a lot of these white privilege things. Now that might attribute to. The skin color I have, you know, if someone didn't ding, know my ding, name, ding, ding, ding. Uh, but is that it though? Like I, I can tell you that I felt that I've someone's seen my name Carlos and I might be been shunned off for things because they don't want Mexicans or something. I always get that from friends and I know they're joking, but that's like jokes come from truth. You know, they go, oh, you're fucking sure. Mexican, right? Yeah. Like, right. no, I'm not mm-hmm. right? here. I'm going to educate you and let you know I'm Filipino. So no, uh, people just get too offended too quick. Yeah. <laughs> you know, white privilege. That doesn't mean, I think the what word is that? privilege okay, implies because that. Because you don't believe in it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Because you're right. it absolutely well, does. Well, hang on. Because we say white privilege. I think the mentality of a lot of people is that that implies that that person is there black knows privilege? no struggle. Like every struggle, right. no, like you, like you said, being raised as a, you know, white straight male, like, yeah, you have white privilege according to the survey, but that doesn't mean your life didn't have its own set of unique no, struggles it absolutely that does. I or even Carlos could be oblivious to That's, because we don't hold like... Second, right. hold white it, privilege there, doesn't mean like because I'm white, I just get to walk right through everything's easy peasy, but it is a fuckload easier. Yeah, I, I, I will agree with that, but that doesn't... That I white start, privilege does I not mean off, it's not without struggle. Dude, no, I'm still not, working my ass off, dude. Like dude, I know, and I've I I've don't spend all my not, money on crack. I've, I don't I've spend never not my... had two jobs and tried to do the music thing on the side. Like I've always fucking worked all mm-hmm. the goddamn time. So it's not that. It's just I uh, I wish I would have known we were talking about this. There's a video of a of a coach had his whole team lined up. He's like, okay, if you can say this, take a step forward. If you can say this, take a step forward. Oh, I've if seen that one. If you can say this, yeah, take yeah, a step yeah. forward. If you can take say this, take a step forward. And blah, 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 blah. And he got through his question. He's like, okay, now we're going to run this race. Mm-hmm. First one to the end wins. Yeah. And, of course, everybody that's still back at the starting line are all the black students yeah. or the underprivileged students. Like, that's all it is. Like, it doesn't mean— Yeah, but that's mean, an inaccurate it representation. Mean, it doesn't mean you don't still have to run, but you got to 
fuckload of a head start. Right. And also but, shows but to all the privileged children who the underprivileged ones are, so they can make fun of them later. But you can still have. Them. You can still well, have. You're a fucking prick. Sounds segre- It sounds like you're segregating people here. No, it's you're pointing, pointing out. out. You're, you're pointing out who's fucking poor or not. When you shouldn't be doing that, you should let people live the way they are and not have to be like, oh, that person's it fucking... It was one fucking example to point out what white privilege is. White privilege doesn't mean, I'm rich, I don't have to worry about it, I'm a white male, everything's fucking easy peasy for me. That's not what white privilege is. If I moved to Jamaica and I tried to start a fucking... Yeah, they don't career, have a white privilege problem there. But they would have a black privilege problem there because I'm not fucking black. I, if I didn't have the You're soul right. in me, if you go to Jamaica, you think there's you black privilege? Not, you do not leave the fucking resorts. Do you do you <laughs> think there's black privilege in America? No, there is privilege for every single race. There's a privilege for it. You're focusing on the white guy. You're so white. So you're saying you're in so some aspect in every race, there's some sort of yeah. Uh, think about it, dude. I, I can agree. yeah I now to what degree in each race that's going to vary I think Dude, can we agree to I that I was in a band white, where wait wait like but it's... but then again brings me back to my argument why does it matter it, yeah, what it doesn't your matter. race what your nationality it it is it where shouldn't. you're no it should it shouldn't and, and it point, does and pointing yeah. it out the thing is it should not but it absolutely does yeah. societally big picture mm-hmm. it does and so when you say this is my viewpoint and I don't think it matters because fucking whatever Okay, great. I'm glad you feel that way, but you have to look at the big picture because it does. And if you sit here and say it doesn't, you're fucking ignorant and mm-hmm. you're unaware. Like, I don't think it should. I think it's stupid. Yeah, it's very but, stupid. But I'm also not stupid enough to think that it doesn't to everybody else. Yeah, societally, because to a lot of people, it Societally, means a lot. it absolutely does. And that's the fucking point. It's not about what you specifically think or what you've specifically dealt with in your life. It's group what, as a whole. It just sounds like you, you think that there's some sort of big old fucking giant conspiracy that every black person is like being brought down by no, some sort of white I'm person not, somewhere. No. Like that's what it sounds like. You're, you sound like there's just a conspiracy when the people that I know, I go to HEB every fucking time I go. I look around, How I see people. Yeah, that's that was, was a little. Saying. That's a, that's like a hot no, skip and a jump. I'm just talking about. Yeah, that, I'm just talking not, about. I did not say anything near that. I'm just talking about. I mean, I'm talking about races and them just being interlocked and everything. Like, I don't look at things that way. Like, I don't feel I've gotten any sort of privilege because of the skin of my... Society does, is what I'm saying. Big picture, everybody We are society. Why, then, why is it that everybody says that? Okay, but your specific views aren't all of society. Okay, sure, you're right about that. What I'm saying is... More people should think like me, I'm saying is, (laughs) if a group of five people walked into a building... Okay. All five of them different races. Mm-hmm. Dressed like what? They, they just, can all be dressed in a fucking suit. Are they all the same whatever. thing? They're all dressed the They'd same way. They all be way. dressed the same okay. way. The white guy would be the least worried about. No, because if they're all dressed in Absolutely. a suit and they're all walking together... No. no, the white guy would be the less worried about. What are they walking into? A job interview? It doesn't or matter. Is there, an Asian, talking, is there an Asian there? It doesn't there? fucking matter. The point is... Is there an Asian involved in this The in point this is... Because I'm worried more about the Asian than anything. Societally... The guy's going to beat my picture, ass. He's got white skin. That's the way it is. And I don't agree with it. Mm-hmm. And I can't help the fact that I am that. But that does exist. That is absolutely a real thing. No. And if you say it doesn't... You're in your own tiny little bubble. Look at the big picture. It's real. It exists. That there's, there's no way you can deny it. There's somebody out there that's keeping people of different races down because of their race. No, uh, nobody's that's what keeping it. it like. No, I'm not. Nobody's that's, keeping anybody down. It's just. I think that people choose white people over something else. Uh, there's over, less over suspicion black cast upon. Like, give me an example of what people. you mean. Then, like, like that's what all these questions were asking. You've said you've, you mean only, like, you've only ever gotten off of a ticket once. Yeah. Maybe it is your name. I, as a white guy named Nick, have gotten off of speeding tickets, my lights being out, all sorts of shit. I mean, I have gotten tickets before. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying I'd off every time, but I've been pulled over for speeding going 20 miles over the limit. Yeah, see, and I haven't been as fortunate. I've never... Here, 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 here's something here. I can sw- number twelve. I can swear or dress in secondhand clothes or not answer letters without having people attribute to uh, these choices to bad morals, the poverty, or the illiteracy of my race. See, because what? <laughs> secondhand can you see how ridiculous clothes, this sounds, though, man. Letters, uh, 
that, that that's like three different questions. Right. Yeah, she's she's lumping things for yeah. sure. But the thing is You're making it sound like, like big, like and crazy. Like there's maybe maybe there is a little bit of it. If, but it's not like it's a fucking uh, epidemic. Say you're a court clerk. Okay. Court clerk. And you're sending letters out and you've got two people that have missed payments. Mm-hmm. One is named Nick. One is named Deshaun. Okay. Okay. I guarantee goddamn T you, Nick is getting more leniency than Deshaun is, based purely on the name. Leniency on what? Uh, getting a ticket off I can or be something? like, oh my God, I was late on my payment. I'm sorry, let They're me... They're going to put Nick's paperwork over here for... Deshaun's okay. getting turned into a goddamn you collection sound, that agency. Sounds, see, so, I, that sounds so fucking racist to me. It, you're it you're does, trying to say that I, somebody will hear the, the name Deshaun and go... That's and, how and it goes. And hear the name Nick. <laughs> well, no, okay, see, maybe he's got that, a point. That, that is me. absolutely how he's, it goes. He's got a point because there, there have been several studies where but they send you are all of society, Lo. Stop saying because you don't feel that way. That's yeah. not the way that it actually is. Yeah. Well, People they've done think like me then. They've done those studies where they'll send in no, like identical all... resumes to job employers, and the only difference will be the name. So it's like, yes, there is something psychologically right. now i i feel that there's there's more like there's that more variables really stripped in down there example yes. yeah i feel like there's more variables that go into that decision like as far as like how it was received uh, or yeah, I mean, that even was... subtle things because like i i want to have a little more faith in human like i don't have a lot but i want to have a little more that we don't resort down to just like no i'm not even going to consider the person because of the name but i mean that could also just be me but it's a very sad. sad but, thing. Okay, so but what is, it does happen. What does me it does happen. having white privilege mean, anyways? So give me that answer. What does it mean, anyways, that I have white privilege? Does that mean that I should check myself and go back, a step, take a step back when trying to make opinions about other races because of the color of my skin, based completely on the color of my skin, because my race completely dictates the color of my ra- hmm. uh, color of my skin. That that kind of sounds like like racism. I mean, should I, <laughs> should I like, I don't know. Uh, you, you guys decide. I think we need, this is a good, uh, a moot point here. I mean, we, we can just kind of stop it here and, and get on with the outro, but really white, white privilege. Maybe it exists. It, Let's say no, it exists. Maybe it definitely does. Let's say it does. <laughs> Absolutely. Does. At least not in my mind. And that's fine. Because that's where things really exist. You're in denial. That's fine. You're, you're, you're. I'm own. not in denial, dude. I don't think that people think that black people are uh, inferior to white I'm people not at all. Everybody well, you're does, looking at it with an are... extreme point of view. All right. You're looking at it that that all white people are keeping black people down. It's not. That's the way it sounds when you say there's this privilege happening for white people. That's the no. wordplay, man. The, no. the word privilege. Then like, find a better way of fucking saying man. it. That instead of people are stupid, man. Right. Right. People are stupid. Anyway. Hey, um, we're on iTunes. That's people, right. People give us a review. Let us know if you like us, if you hate us. Like, we we want to know. All right, just let us know if we can change something. We probably won't. But at least let us know if, if you're listening. Like, is that on? Can you guys hear that out there? Hello? 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 Anyway. If you think that my privilege is just blinding my opinions, <laughs> fucking email us at email. emergencyexitpodcast at gmail.com. Uh, go ahead and check us out on emergencyexitpodcast.com. We're on Podbeam. Uh, Podbean. Um, shit, if you guys are receiving us, give us an email. Say hello. Um, if you think fucking privilege is a thing, give us a note. So uh, we got Nick Ryder. And for Brandon Mitchell, I'm Lo saying. That's, That's right. right.